many kids as I have, or you married currently? Yes. Yes, I do. Can I hear? 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 I guess I can. Can I guess I can. Season finale instead of Rise of the Ass Cat. Yeah, I already. I already. All right. So why do you even ask for like potential episode titles if you're just gonna name it? Because Blake, that's how you guys weren't naming anything, anything, so I just named it. Rise of the Ass Cat. We specifically. I already talked had that about typed it. in. No, you didn't. That that came like Bull way later. No Have we started? Yes, we're it's live. Live. We haven't started. We're live right now. Yeah, we're live. So other people. <laughs> I'm gonna start sharing it around. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Throw it on me like that. Shit. Can somebody call my phone? Oh, it's right here. It was black on a black case. Are you gonna get right? a beer right? before we start, though? Did you just assume yeah. that racial of that phone? No. It's like on the last one. I'm halfway through this one. Did you say if it had eyes, you would have found I'm it? I'm drinking uh, it. Or if it was smiling. Diet Dr. Pepper, so. Okay. Yeah. That's all I have in my fridge. Yeah, it is hot in here. No, I'm just sorry. Sweating profusely for no reason at all, usually. I always profusely sweat. I spend, like, e even like when I'm not anxious. But or 90, doing anything at 95% all. 95% of the time. Right now, I'm I'm just sitting just and sweating. sweating. Yeah. I know I'm okay with that. Which just makes me angry, honestly. Like, I'm not just, angry when I sweat, though. Oh, I am. I am. Because if I get horny. <laughs> I have got a, a gland somewhere that's going to help me along the way. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on here? You shake part of it. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Yeah, Wait, were you supposed to come here with... Yeah, I worked instead of going and getting my face shaved. <laughs> yeah. Alright, are we ready to go? Sure. Technically we still have three minutes before it hits the pod. Ah, yeah, true. I'm... I guess those in the stream. Can I hear the? Can I? Did it sound good, Blaine? Did it come off good? It sounded great. He'll just delete it. I know. <laughs> that was an accident. You know what's funny though? Your, seven, your, my your girlfriend texted me the other day and said, "Hey, I threw a chair at Blaine's TV," and I said, "Oh, that's cool." She goes, "I said, did you really?" And she said, "No, I wouldn't be here." I said, "Why?" He'd just go buy something better. <laughs> yeah. So. So don't deflect. There, there's no there's no control Z in the fucking delete because I deleted it from the actual like folder and I didn't realize it until I went to back and to like mess with this and it said file offline. So there's no going through all those files and figuring it out. That's weird. I fucked up my taxes and got the same thing last year. <laughs> <laughs> so who's this chick in PVC you wanna fuck? Who? PVC? Yeah, Joe wants to know if we're going to talk about that. I have no idea what he's talking about. What the fuck? <laughs> Can we pause this? No. It's <laughs> live. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is he talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> Ethan Henderson said, or, says, right, Blaine, no. tell Alex I said I love oh. her. I see that now. Anyway. I love you too, Ethan. Okay. I have the comments here. Yeah, that's why. Oh, hey. Because I can't read up there. So are we ready to fucking start this shit or what? Yeah. Let's start this roll it. Alright. What are you... Diamond Nuggets? Tune in to Gallif Radio, a Whovian podcast every other Friday on the Journey in the Comics Network. The following, the following journey into comics. The 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 journey
What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Podcastrophe, episode 54. I'm your host, Dick, and with me, as always, Mr. Tyler McLaughlin. Hey. And, of course, as you heard in the uh, intro... Your friend, Rolo. And we also have another guest, a Ms. Alex. Hello. I don't yeah, know how... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you didn't really... You have to me, swallow You it. didn't give me any fucking instructions. Uh, you really have to vape cloud us, like... Three seconds into the fucking episode. I did, I did, I did, I did vape cloud. You fucking vape cloud. Do you I have can to see chew? it on the other side of the room. Dude, are we from Kentucky? Do you have to chew? Do I have chew in my mouth right now? You will. Do I? You will. Don't fucking tell me my business. Oh my god, rip your sides of your shirt out. And we also have Miranda out. here. Hey. We don't know how much she's going to talk, but she'll, she's here if she wants Between to. Between these three, I won't get much in. <laughs> I might not talk at all. I know. If this keeps up, I might just leave. Don't do that. Can't park behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just back over your shitty little Subaru. Go ahead. I'll collect the insurance money because Subarus have the best Kelly Blue Book value. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's dumb. laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> stop it! So how's everybody doing today? Fucking great. We're yeah. so hot. Like, stop complaining. Here. Yeah. Stop complaining. Stop you are the very first person to complain. I'm gonna about drown you in fucking Giordano's chips. Which, by the way, those are fucking phenomenal. Disgusting. It tastes like a can of tomato sauce. What are you talking about? Those are fucking you didn't fire. Like it? Did I say they were bad? No, but you just said they too like a can of tomato sauce. That's so what it tastes like. It's sauce too sauce heavy on the tomato that flavor. That's implying it's too heavy on the tomato flavor. This is going to be a real Dude. argumentative wow. yeah. episode. I'm going to fucking argue a movie. No, Nate, <laughs> Nate Phillips is already like, the tension is real. Yeah, like, I know. Okay, you know, yeah. So if, if you fucking opened a bag of Doritos and all you tasted was fucking tortilla chip and no cheese. I'd be fucking furious. You would be furious. Very. I fucking want a Giordano's pizza, not They're pizza not gonna, sauce. Okay, let's be realistic You can throw some here. fucking meat flavor in there. When they make they the, can make bacon bits taste like bacon. They can okay. make that fucking potato chip. Tastes like a hint of pepperoni. Okay. Fuck. Okay. It does. It does. I'm sorry that your palate is just too Don't fucking... Don't fucking get into oh, palate disgusting. here we go. Me. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Mm, hold on a second. Mm. Oh, my hams. Mm. I can taste it. I can taste the water. Mm. The <laughs> barley's there, too. 96% mm. water. You gotta, you gotta own it in there. I think four of these and I might have a slight buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, he has. You, you, I will agree with you on the Doritos thing. Like, yes, if I open a bag of Doritos and I taste a tortilla chip, I would take them back to Walmart and be like, "What the fuck?" And they'd be like, "It's all right, because you can return anything here." Sir, this bag of Doritos is actually <laughs> full of dirty underwear. Yeah, that's how it was when I opened it. It was that way. Oh, okay, we will exchange it uh, full price. Sir, so so go ahead and get your bag of Doritos. How drunk are you right now? You realize that those are just regular tortilla chips, sir, <laughs> ma'am. The fucking... I don't care how drunk I am. I'm always right. Customer. I thought you were I'm always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, Richard, you already met Alex before. Kind of. What? Last week, when you remade Facebook... You added a bunch of my friends. Okay, I did. I read Facebook, and yeah. then Facebook really let me know within two hours of why I hated Facebook. Why well, was that? Uh, because I, I that. like my phone was dying, and I plugged it in to charge it, and I came back, and Facebook's like, you have 1,864 notifications. And I was like, click, delete, this is why I don't have Facebook. Because I don't fucking care if Charmin's on sale at Target. Well, if I, I wanted to that. know, I would look in the fucking paper and be like, oh shit, look at that, Charmin's on sale. I don't think like, hey, I'm going to text a couple of that. my friends. You know, I just, I just don't. Mm -hmm. Facebook is the white so, devil of social media. That same night, I get a message from Alex over here saying, with a screenshot of your profile saying, do you know this guy? I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> AP did the same thing in a group chat. Yeah. And then, and then you go, oh, he just waved at me. <laughs> I was like, I'll okay. back. <laughs> so I kept my messenger. Mm -hmm. I kept my messenger because that shit's fun as fuck. And I kept my Instagram. But like, I got rid of Facebook because number one, like, I don't need you don't my, like I don't, well, I got, a, I got a 14 year old son, right? Yeah. And, like, 
I don't need him to see the shit that I do behind the scenes. Like, he already knows I'm a, I'm a pretty shit dad. I mean, you show up to PTO day and you think you got a Diet Coke and everyone's staring at you because you're drinking a Coors Light. You know? <laughs> it's just kind of like, yeah, I know I'm a terrible father, but, like, I don't want you to show your friends or even your mom how terrible I truly am. Because you can still come over here for the time being. You know, like, CPS is not in my house going, Mr. Olovich, listen, we saw your Facebook post the other day, and we do not feel your children are safe with you any longer. Fuck, they haven't been safe with me this entire time. Why are you showing up so late? Like, I would be mad at CPS for showing up later. Uh, sir, uh, Mr. Olovich, we saw a Facebook post uh, about you talking about a, a situation where you stuck an entire bundle of carrots in your ass at the same time. <laughs> um, Sometimes I like to stick a handful of carrots into the bottom of my hashtag, hashtag what daddy does after he, the kids go to bed. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you didn't even wash the carrots first. We the, Oh, I must have posted a video. <laughs> That was during the blackout phase. <laughs> so anyway, she sends me all this, and I'm and I just start hatching this idea in my in my head, saying, "Oh my God, if anybody's gonna you know have a chance against you know going back and forth with you, it's her." I already like it. I already like it because yeah. because when I told her I masturbate, and I like when I get, you know because she says I hate getting sweaty, and I said I like when I get sweaty because then if I want to masturbate on the go, I can just reach into one of them glands and I've got lubrication ready. And then she's Slightly like, salty and abrasive, but yeah, you've got it. <laughs> hey, <it's> like, <laughs> I don't really like to go without... I like a good old dry jack myself, honestly. Blaine's a dry jacker. He told me that. Like yeah. I am a dry jacker. I don't, I Three don't, weeks into us being friends, yeah. that was one of the first things that he told me. I am a dry jacker. I'm a dry yeah. jacker. And you guys fucking Total sit here jacker. and you joke? Hey. Hey. If you get it how you get it, sister. <laughs> but, no... Blaine sits here and tells me I'm fucking weird, and then I hear stories about how Blaine met these people, and they're like, oh yeah, Blaine said this, and Blaine said that, and I'm like, wait a minute, this motherfucker's the weird one, yeah, like, he's telling people how I dry jacks, but then I, I tell people how I choke jacks, so. Right. <laughs> it's, it's just it's like uh it's like fucking a game of russian roulette every time you go to jacket you don't know if you're gonna fucking come out of that or oh, not oh, it doesn't i mean you might get the fucking belt one notch too tight and fucking end up in a tabloid hey, somewhere that's all right honestly so dry jacking it's simple it's like the wiggle worm but it's your dick but it's not the wiggle worm because it's not slightly more abrasive i would like to just barely make all you gotta do is get part. just underneath the head so you're not rubbing up against it and you're fine do you do the rosy palm where you just take it and you just Nate like a salt and no. pepper. No, I do not. Like I a fucking not. pool cue. Yeah, you know, just hashtag track it jack. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, anyway. I'm an advocate against dry jacking. I am. Like, that is unnecessary abuse to your no, no, not not honestly. Not. On the go, it's it is. Not. It's dude, not. my hands do you feel. You guys six. don't fucking it's jack six. off as much as I do. These are fucking I jacked clouds. Off seven times today. Clouds of lotion, right here. Okay, because I treat my hands so well. What? I don't need lotion. I don't like to give hand jobs dry. I feel like I'm hurting. Yeah, you, you're fine. I don't like women you, you that give hand jobs, job. period. Okay? So, I just want to throw that yeah, out there. Like, that, I, is, that is I, the most enjoyable sexual <laughs> experience. I'm going to tell you what. Listen, when I was 16 or 15 or 14, <laughs> I started young. But I've never met a woman that touched my penis anywhere near as good as I touched no, my I penis. No, I was getting ready to say that. Like there is it, not a fucking woman alive that can no. beat my dick better than me. Let me tell you what. If someone were to break into my house and, like, put my kids and family on the thing and was like, hey, I would like a semi-tolerable, maybe like a like a three out of, like, ten hand job, I would have to look at my wife and I'd have to be like, listen, I got this. You kids will be all right. Don't let your mom get off that couch. Because that's how bad it is. Like, I would do, there's nothing... I would rather my wife do anything other than give me a hand job. Yeah. Like, spend all my money. Don't give me a hand job. That's Let's how bad they are. About it. Because they're just terrible. I, I, no, I didn't mean to I touch about. myself too so dry, much. Too no, not too dry. Too it's not no, like, it's just it's you not don't, that don't have a dick, so you don't know how I, to do it. It's not that I don't love my wife. It's not that I, I do I mean, love my wife. She does just fine. It's funny. But you like boy, the way you okay, say so. that about everything, dude. You are the most pacifistic person I've ever met. Thank you. She's great. Okay, so. He was great. I'm going to. Step in, I'm Alex. going to pray that um, nobody, like, I don't know, I shared it so my mom isn't watching this or something. <laughs> she probably will. Like this, so. Sorry. Mom, go away. Just click, this click the X. Stop following me. This is not I'm old enough now. 
It's um, okay, I quit doing the drugs. She's outside in the street. <laughs> Cars so, running. Get your ass out here right is, now. Dear Jesus, save my daughter, Alex. She's inside with those heathens. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knows I am a fucking heathen. Yes. But no, like, that's what a lot of guys say. Like, oh yeah, hand jobs, boo. But like... Some people are really good at them, I hear. I don't know who, but... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to point you out of the room. Like, I'm not going to... There's imagine. some people who are pretty good at them. I'm just saying. That's all. That's all I'm going to fucking say. Right <laughs> oh, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah, I mean. No, it's just fucking... I know my dick better than anybody. I do. I fucking had that thing since birth. Nobody knows my dick better than me. No, it's I've a- heard the phrase, are you sure you don't have one of these? <laughs> okay. well, I mean, that, that very okay. well, I mean... I'm not saying that you might, you might be an expert, okay? You might be oh the one I haven't come across yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> I told you he was going to hit on you. <laughs> I'm actually glad that you're here, Alex, because but, otherwise he would be hitting on me. I would. Oh, well, you but know. I'm just saying, can break I, the tension I just a little have bit never here. met a woman. I mean, and, and I've dated an array of women, you know, white, Chinese, everything, all of them. Uh, it, every... Circle K, Burger K, McDonald's, Dollar General, <laughs> Walmart, Speedway. <laughs> Speedway. Yeah, Speedway. Uh, Dollar Tree. Panama Boots. City Beach, Cabana Boots. Bathroom. And now he's going after the second shift PBC chick. Oh, Joe's still talking about. Oh, good God. Joe's talking about I was drunk and ended up talking to someone at a fucking bar, and Joe has split up a portion because he saw my penis! Ooh. Oh. Oh, my God. Jesus. Would you let Joe give you a hand job? Yes. Okay. Joe knows I'd let him give me a hand job because I told him about the whole Amber situation, and if Joe would have been the one that touched my penis, he would have finished me off. I could have been up <laughs> off that fucking bed in five seconds, the door would have been locked. I'd be like, there's only one way out, motherfucker, and I nailed the windows last night. Because I knew that this, this situation might go down. Yeah, that's not rapey at all. Not, uh, you know what? You are not the only person to ever call me rapey. <laughs> the or, only not, way out is It's not rapey. No surprise. I've been accused, but always proven innocent. That's... That's terrible. Like, that's, that's on live. Really good. That's live on air. He's yeah. You. He's like, this is why. This is why I said, forever. like, I don't want Facebook because my kid would be like, hey, my dad was accused of rape one time, but he got off because they said Wait, he was he innocent. Wait, he got off or he was innocent? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got off. Ew. You like, don't believe hey, what he I did just there? watch this podcast. Here he is. He's saying it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, close call. Hey, it's, yeah. it's episode 54. There's some cops up north going, hey, remember that kid we arrested about 11 years back? Yeah. Yeah, he was fucking guilty. Fucking, what was that, uh, <laughs> fucking Hanson guy? Fucking, to catch a predator. Oh, oh Chris I, Hansen. I'm Chris Hansen, Hansen, he just fucking walks just in the room. Sit. Just have a seat. No, 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 no. Just, he just, just, just seat. He just fucking walks in the room just right now. Uh, I'm gonna need all of you <laughs> to, to remain leave. seated. <laughs> all of you. Except. <laughs> She's got cats coming out of her asses. He's dry jacking <laughs> it until he has a nub. This guy's raping people. We don't even know what these other two people are she doing. Might, well, I'm gonna she might. Well, she's a hand job seated. extraordinaire. She's I might. Right? I might have a penis. I might not. I don't think you do. I don't. You think don't you do. know. I don't know. But my life. I'm not judging. Okay. No, I don't have a penis. It's 2018. It's you can't assume. You can't assume. So. If, if you did have a penis, or if you didn't have a penis, you would touch it. Or hey, in your purse, you brought along a fake penis for later. Or on. a or a big rubber fist. That would be acceptable. Yeah. Just a giant fist. I mean, I mean yeah, just, just, like the one from oh Borat. My, oh my like the big <laughs> fucking rubber fist. She breaks out the one the size of yours. <laughs> yeah. This? It's two of them. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> we are doing a push pop. It's literally, this it's literally like fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and uh, fucking what's his name in Predator when they do the, the forearm shake. Oh it's just God. all of that. <laughs> She's like, no one's leaving until someone push pops me. Nate Vanderwall. God says, damn it, Dave, tell me what a push pop is. I saw a mom and dad fisting each other the other night. Who they asked? Nate Vanderwall says, tell Richard to stop being rapey. Oh my god, you know what? I don't, bro, remember, I don't remember why bro, that came up, bro, but like, I couldn't get away bro, from that. Bro. I couldn't get away from that. Wait, the, your rape victim? No. Or just the accusation <laughs> of rape? No, just the rapey thing. Okay. Like, that was like, but I, I've never been rapey. You've been a little bit rapey. A little bit, yeah. Okay, with men. With men, I come on strong. Uh, you, you I mean, technically, bit... you were talking about a man when you were being rapey over there, so... That's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But I've also seen him be rapey towards I have... fucking old baby girl. Ooh. Baby girl. Speaking of the panda, panda, we have news. We have news. We have news. Wait, don't. She'll see it. What the fuck is She'll this? She'll see it because we're Facebook friends. About what's happening. Wait, you she doesn't know she's Tyler. Who the Wait, does she know she's called panda? Oh, yeah. 
She does? Who the fuck? Sure she does. Oh my god. Who does she not? Who the fuck? I don't know. It's been a while. Wait, the fuck is that? I don't know who the fuck Panda is. Tiffany. That's who the fucking Panda is? That's Panda. What the fuck is the joke behind that? Will you do your fucking lesbian seagull song tonight? Okay, so the yeah, panda, Thank you. the panda yeah. is it was an endangered species. That now it's just threatened. That, and now it's just threatened. It's it's no longer on the endangered list. But against just all fucking odds, snort. <laughs> hey there, let's run down to the Dollar General and get ourselves a red box. <laughs> I like to walk down there so, sometimes because my husband's fit. <laughs> so against all odds, the panda is still it still exists. It's not extinct. Nature has done everything in its power to get rid of the panda. And it's just, it's a middle finger to the it's, fucking gods. Because it's the like, panda exists, but Harambe is gone. It's, well, it's kind of like the Canadian And much like the panda, Tiffany just won't give up. Just won't die. Life. Dude, I, you know what? As much as I dislike her, she's a hard fucking worker. Where'd you go down? Who the fuck is she? This, it's this girl we If work you met her, okay, okay. she's the fucking poster girl for what Asperger's is. Alright, that's who she is. Okay, well... There's she's like she's like a banana with Asperger, like so. if with a bad. Someone uh, came out with Down syndrome and looked like me. That's Tiffany. She's she's like a banana slug. <laughs> Once with, again, there's not anything wrong with people with Down syndrome. Bad personal know, hygiene. And you're talking. You're barking up the wrong like tree. A couple that's extra my field of work, man. All right, I'm just <laughs> This isn't a very PC podcast. I know, and, well, which I'm fine with, but yeah. I'm just like, hey, whoa. You'd have to understand. If you met Tiffany, you would, she would be one of your clients. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? I mean. She is a very awkward penguin. That's what I like to call her. She's like a penguin with a uh, panda. underbite an panda. <laughs> and uh, lack of deodorant. Like if you were to meet someone. If, like just imagine that. A penguin with an underbite and lack of deodorant. All right, I need to, well, I want to change subjects because I really want to discuss something. Okay, let's lay, Wait, lay it out Wait, you never got the news, though. You never gave him the news. What news? About the panda. Ooh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Let's skip the news. Let's I, say I, that I, to the end. Yeah, okay. I've got a yeah. really good topic I want to talk lay about. It, lay it out here. Too Glory top. holes. Okay. Uh, you and I have talked about this in in In, in depth. What yes, in depth. Take it or leave it. Would I or I wouldn't know. I? Okay, wait a minute. Or Which you... end? Yes. My thing That's where I, I was this going. Is, this <laughs> is my thing on Glory Hose. Is it a bush or is it a beard? Who cares? Let's get weird. You know, we talked about That's... this a couple weeks ago with AJ on Trailer Park Thanos. Mm-hmm. Um, it, which, the episode I forgot could have been called Schrodinger's Glory Hole. Schrodinger. Schrodinger, Schrodinger. yeah. Well, I have to say that, like, at the fantasy gift shop, not that I've been there. Fantasy. They it's have glory holes, don't yes, they? I've they heard where all I've your dreams that. come true. Dude, you don't understand. Does the new one have glory holes? Yes. Ooh. I got way too excited about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my, my, I'm my, there Monday, my wife, Wednesday, and Friday. My wife and my son, because like I, I fucked up and was like, hey, dad's going to be on a podcast tonight. Like, check it out. I did fuck up. I told my kid to like check it out. But then I'm like, my kid's older. So he's like four. So like you know he. Well, he's already knocking the bottom out of chicks. Yes, I know he is. So. He has already told me, and I yeah. don't. And I don't care. But anyway, so there are glory holes all over town. There were more. Well, there were hit. way Monday more when Friday. Craigslist was here. Okay. I'm gonna throw that at you. Craigslist I mean, yeah, isn't that, here. That no, sense. Craigslist personals is gone. <laughs> oh. Donald Trump oh made sure of that. Oh my, Craigslist isn't <laughs> here anymore. Pure glory holes. No, it was not. It, it was not pure glory holes. <laughs> it, it glory was, holes were just running okay, rampant. It was an outbreak. There was, there was, was a plague. so many that they closed down many McDonald's bathrooms across Lafayette and West Lafayette. No, but what about the region? How was the region hit with that? I don't know. I don't know. I do know this: that back when I was in my early twenties, that like Craigslist, when I was single, like the casual encounter thing, that was my thing. You know what I mean? Like, it was great to not know what was going to pull up in your driveway and come in for a Wait, first Wait, you invited him to your house? Terrifying. Good God, man. You have, to, you have to understand, in my early 20s, I was on a lot of drugs. A lot right. of drugs. Like, when I say a lot of drugs, like, drugs was, I was drugs. Like, from the from the time I woke up in the morning till the time I went at night, I was doing some sort of drugs. So, okay, my okay. question is, did you ever get anybody that pulled up that actually had a full mouth of teeth? Like. Yes, yes, yes. Tons of times. Oh, wow. tons of times. Tons of times. Tons. <laughs> tons. But, uh, but I thought you were gonna say tons of teeth. But you have to understand. Like, <laughs> no, not tons of teeth. Like, tons of teeth. She had like a fucking she, great she white shark. Extra teeth. No, I did have a girl though one time 
that I went on a date with, and she was a manager of Fox's Pizza. I hope to God she's still not there and she can't hear this. But I took, like, she she said, "Hey, you want to go on a date?" And I said, "Yeah, sure." Blah blah. blah. You know, we talked, and uh, I took her out on a date. Everything <coughs> went great, and I brought her home. And then, like, she's like, "Hey, let's watch a movie and have some drinks." So I was like, "Okay." And so I brought this girl home, and she's like, "Hey, go get some beers and some shots. I gotta use the restroom." Well, her purse—I don't know if she planned this or just I tripped over it because I was—I was very drunk. Belligerent. Uh, I tripped over her purse, and out of her purse spilled a pair of handcuffs and a small riding crop. And I was like, "Whoa!" So I put everything back, and like <laughs> we went to drinking for a little bit, and then I got a couple more shots deep, and I got some—you know—balls. I was like, "Hey, look." I don't know how to say this, I didn't dig through your shit, but like, hey, I tripped over your purse and a riding crop and a pair of handcuffs fell out. She's like, does that bother you? And I was like, what do you say here? No, it does not. <laughs> and she goes, well, I go, did, did, like, was this like your plan? Like, do you carry these? And she's like, well, I didn't know how the night was going to go. Do you have intentions with me? And she was like, well, <laughs> she goes, maybe, you know, a couple more beers and a couple more shots, maybe you'd want to try it. And I was like... Uh, I was there like last week with another chick, but hey, I'm not going to tell you that. So yeah, of course. Why even take the next shot and the next beer? Let's just do this now. But like, those were my experiences with women. Like, I had so many women. Like, I had a woman show up one time. She's like, hey, you want to watch uh, Fraggle Rock? And I was like... <laughs> No fucking way. I, I don't believe you. I, I swear. Out of all the I swear on my kid's life. Out of all I the things that kids, have spewed dude, out of your fucking I, mouth. I, I would, I this would, is the one I, thing I choose not to listen, believe. We went, we went out you to, have told me we the, the most bar. fucked up things. I've ever These are the Craigslist women! And the fucking the Scrabble Cra- Rock I statement, I do God. not believe. No, listen, we went out to the bar, we got drunk, we drove home, she was like, hey, you want to hang out and chill still? And I was like, yeah. She goes, hey. Was this a sister? Do you want to watch Fraggle Rock? Was this a sister? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So yeah. anyway, dude, like, I wasn't going to turn down getting a piece of ass to watching Fraggle Rock, all right? So like, my <laughs> Fraggle Rock to ass ratio, 100%. Okay, because that's were how you, it works. Were you me. fucking, like, guitar heroing it to the beat of the Fraggle Rock no, theme song? No, but I did take a chick home because I told her I had rock band at home. Okay. And I did not have rock band. And no. she knew when we got home what was going on. That's a little rapey. <laughs> and I was going to say, that's what makes you rapey. I know, I know. It's that terrible. is rapey. Surprise, know, bitch, horse. no rock band There's no here. rock band, but you, you can, can play with play my dick. dick. <laughs> Terrible high five, but you guys connected. Yeah. That was awesome. That was, that was awesome. That was beautiful. I feel like our souls intertwined. Richard, you don't have a fucking soul. I do have a soul. There's you a, left your soul there, behind at Fraggle there, Rock. I'm telling you, there is some sort of human being in me somewhere. It might be in the bowels, like in the depths. It's it's behind a glory hole. No, hey, no, let's get back to glory holes. So, dude, would you or wouldn't you? Okay, Miranda brought up the important part of the question. It's a mouth only. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you going to be, gonna be, are you gonna be behind the no, glory no, 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 hole no. or are you going to be penetrating the glory hole? my end, I'm always going to be giving. Because I am not taking a wiener. Just ain't going to happen. Not my dish. You know, you could serve it up a million times, I'll starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, boy. I, would, I have to say yes only because I'm flattered that someone on the other side that I don't know wants my wiener. For, I'm, for like I'm married. Quarter. I'm married, and when I first met my wife, I can understand why she wanted this. Now I'm like, why do you stay with this? You know. <laughs> but there's someone on the other side that has not judged me in any way, shape, or form, but with what my penis looks like. And even if it's small, they'll still put their mouth on. They're it. going to. So I have to say, yes. On the on the other end of this, so Cameron told another guest of the show frequently that we work with. Uh, he told me of a video of this European, like, pussy buffet. Yeah. Wait, which one is it? <laughs> it's like, literally... They're like, really popular in the Czech Republic. Oh, are you talking about where, like, the chicks just, like, lay there with their legs up and, like, yeah. you just... They're, they're basically just laying there in a box. Well, yeah. not, not, oh, like, I fucking... just saw this! No, wait, look. <laughs> See, I actually, I actually know about this stuff, so... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on. From stall to stall, like, there is a picture of the woman... On the outside her of face. the stall. Just her face. Well, not not always. Sometimes it's the face and the body. But anyway, there is a picture of what they look like. 
And then underneath it is a placard saying what they will do. So sometimes it's just a glory hole. Sometimes they're fucking laying there for you to plow their ass. I mean, the, every stall is different. Oh my. So, yeah, and they are there for like 8 to 10 really, hours at a time. Excuse me, I have to get on kayak. I'm leaving the States. <laughs> but, so this room, it's a room, like a fucking, like a full-sized room. It's a fucking and, buffet. And it's just stall after stall, and it's Is, it, is it all so you can like, fuck? Uh, well, it's everything. So, all the way around the room. So, say you're plowing some fucking chick. I'm standing behind you, like, fucking getting myself yeah. hard, ready to go. And as soon as you climax, I fucking step right up and just start going. That's what Cameron was saying. So, Cameron. wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this fuck? all you can fuck, or do you have to pay individually? I think it's all you can fuck. That's perfect. Cameron was literally fun. like, yeah, I was, so I was watching this video of this, this pussy buffet, and, like... You do so good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm like, there's, this, there's, like, he started explaining the whole thing, and then he goes... I'm like, there's, like, guys, like, just standing behind, like, him waiting, just, like, just slow jerking it, you know? <laughs> and, uh, he's done, and he's like, alright, I'm going in. Like, yeah. <laughs> and there's, like, like he just, he just nutted, and, like, there's, it's all still there, and he just goes in. I'm like, oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I told you guys, you guys obviously know. Europeans that, like, are different, man. No, they I don't give a shit. No, so we're. They're about the Japanese. Sex. The Japanese are the same way. They're about they will sex. ejaculate on almost anything. Ex- except in porn, they censor their peepees. They Not do. always. On ninety percent of the time. On really good Japanese porn, they censor it. On the semi-amateur stuff, you can see the, the penis. Fucking amateurs, don't They're censor in the penis. Too much. Too well. I, I mean, I appreciate the the censorship because a lot of Asian dongs look really fucking weird. Oh, they do. They do. It's like a fucking like a bugle. Alex, how, how do you feel about this? It's like a bugle seen, with a have bush you seen and like an Asian penis lately. I have not. I don't really like it's not my top google search or anything what's what like. is your what is your two t- questions one what is your top google search <laughs> two <laughs> what are you doing after the podcast Bam. all right <laughs> what is your top google search when it comes to porn oh well i don't usually google search you gotta go to the website right oh wait do you I buy get- it Okay, so you go to the website. It's what is your 2018? Who buys porn? Yeah, right, for a lot of people. Real. A lot of people. That's why they're still in business. Asses. So okay, what is your favorite? They porn make their site? money off advertising. Let's um, just agree. Okay. Yeah. They do. Great. Glad I'm having this conversation. <laughs> I hope you're not. Mom, go away. No, just, I hope you're listening, Alex's mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what now. she does in her free time. <laughs> Actually, who is? When I'm not helping people, I'm at home diddling myself. <laughs> or at the bar. <laughs> diddling myself. Usually, usually at the bar. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, the usual ones. Like now, don't, don't, don't throw the... Don't, like, okay, okay. Tube 8, huge. where are we at here? Extreme Tube, xxn.x.com. Uh, I've done X and X. wire. Red Tube. Yeah. Pornhub. I, I said Pornhub. Yeah. I mean, Porn you, gotta, you gotta support Pornhub. Yeah, you do. They're the fucking YouTube of the porn industry. They are the hub of porn. They are. Mm -hmm. Tube 8. I I used to be strictly a red tube guy. That was that that was my site, and then I stumbled upon Pornhub, and without any thought whatsoever, I totally turned my back on red tube. (laughs) What's your favorite football team? Uh, the Patriots. Okay, so if they go 0 16 this year, what team will you stumble upon next season since you give up on everything so easily? Uh, <laughs> I was like, this took a hard turn, but now, okay. okay yeah, I, got you. Okay. I got you. Now. Okay. I was like, fuck, we're going to talk about sports. Ugh, oh, no. I'm we're not talking I'm about I, 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 <laughs> hey, The only reason I really care about sports this year is because I put 50 bucks out there. Okay. I'm not like a big hardcore, like, oh, wait, Tom Brady. Mm, the Bulls no dance. You know? You're telling me you wouldn't fucking suck his dick? All right, that is yeah. a topic for another podcast. No, no, no we're going to get to that in just a minute. But. <laughs> so, Glory Hole, like, honestly, like, Glory Hole's, I've had this conversation with Richard, I've had it with you, I've had it with Cameron, I've had this conversation with a bunch of people, because I always bring it up when somebody's like, dude, that's super fucking gay. No, it's not gay. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. When some, just, just something is gay in general, and then I'll be like, okay, well, what do you feel about Glory Holes? Getting, getting your dick sucked, and... Well, that's not gay. What if it's a dude on the other side? You sure, don't know. Go, go Does that make it fucking gay? My opinion, if you can't see who's on the other side and you can't tell it's a dude, it's not gay. You're just getting your dick sucked. Getting your dick sucked's not gay anyway. You're just getting your dick sucked. Now, sucking a man's dick, that's gay. 
I like how you went heritage with your voice there. Sucker man. <laughs> okay, Pappy always told me, do whatever you can to get your pick pepper. <laughs> but, what, the, what the fuck? But don't ever pepper another man's pickle. <laughs> I, 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 oddly enough, oh, wow. have to fucking agree because of this. I said it's 2018, and like Bruce Jenner, if Bruce Jenner would have never happened, I would have not known about Bruce Caitlin. Jenner, and I would just met Caitlyn. Like I was at a downtown LA bar because somehow I became famous as a comedian, which will never happen. But I was right. like, you know, just drinking downtown. And Caitlin walks up, she's like, hey, you know, listen, I saw your show, I really liked your stuff, you want to go back home with me? I'd be like, oh, if we can watch Fraggle Rock. <laughs> 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 but, I, but, like, I would, <clears throat> I would tell her, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, let's go home. And she'd be like, all right, hey, now I'm home, I'm a little drunk, and she's going down on me, right? We're getting yeah. ready to do our thing, and all of a sudden I go, whoa. She pulls out a dick. I'd be like, all right, this is going to happen. Because, like, I'm not going to stop. I'm not that guy. Like, I would bang a transgender because at first I thought it was a chick, so who am I to be like, I don't You're know. invested. Yeah, I mean, you are. Once I have some would say, my Some time, would say you're trans. I'm sorry. No, I am like, there are several cool. transgender, like, men who are women now, and they, I'm like, you can't tell. I'm like, you're beautiful. beautiful. I'm like, you're beautiful. Beautiful. more pretty it's than me. Like, you're more. I, I would than like to talk about a story. Once you, see the, the once you see the pink parts, though, there's no fucking... So, I catch a lot of shit at work because I went out one night with a buddy, let's just say unknown, and I made out with a dude in the bar. <laughs> I've heard this story. All right, and yes, I did. I made out and with a dude. You know what? I didn't look bar. down on you for it. You did not? Or did? No, I did not look okay. down on you. I'm sorry. But, but I made fun of you This for guy, it. Looking up this guy, here. here's the thing. Fuck he wasn't that. Uh, technically, he probably was because he was probably on station nine, <laughs> which you don't know about. So, this is when we had a gap. Okay. <laughs> But here's, here's the thing. Elevated. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm at the bar. I see something I like. And female or male. I didn't go home. I didn't suck this guy's dick. Did he suck your dick? Yeah, I would have let him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't even fuck this dude. But, like, I would never let... I just can't do... I can't go the other way. Like, I could fuck a dude. I could let a dude suck my dick. And I'm not being homophobic in any way. I just couldn't... I just couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Let, I eat a lot of anchovies. You're not going to let today. somebody pound your cheeks. I, yes, I, mean, I ate an anchovies. <laughs> you will penetrate, day. but not be penetrated. Yes, I ate an anchovies the other day, and it was hot as fuck. And I, that was enough to let me know that coming out is awful. Put, if I had to take all that and just shove it back in there, like <laughs> the end of the world is here. Because that's just how I feel. And I'm not being mean. But, like, I don't care if I made out with a dude. I like to fucking party. I come from a different generation. All right, I, My name I is like. Richard we actually I like come to from the same generation, but go on. If I didn't work at Subaru and I was sitting here right now, I'd be high on some kind of drug. I don't know what it would be because I love them. All right? Maybe all of them. You I, just don't know. A plethora. All right. A cornucopia. I would, be a, I would be a Mac Miller right now, sitting Ooh. in your corner. Ooh. Oh, too soon. Was Every, too everybody soon? wants to throw shade at fucking Demi Lovato, but when Mac Miller fucking kills himself. It's By okay. being a dumbass, he's a fucking Terrible paragon person. of civilization. <laughs> yeah, thank you. But no, I'm sorry. I have I have no issue. Like I said, I just do. I like to party. If I'm out drinking and I start making out with a dude, that's my motherfucking business. Look away. If I want to go in the corner and I want to dry hump this dude, which probably happened that night because I was a little blackout <laughs> drunk, then I'm going to dry hump the shit out of him and go home with some dirty drawers. Fucking preach it, sister. <laughs> Thank you. So I am not ashamed that I made out the dude, and never will be. Dude, mm -hmm. I made out with tons of dudes in my early twenties. Dude, <laughs> it just it just happens. This has escalated <laughs> rather quickly. Do you want to switch spots? No, <laughs> no. I am now he really does. Yes, he does. <laughs> I'm transvested. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun in my younger years. So you not... never let a female peg you? Oh, hell what? oh no. yes, yes, hell no. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, fuck yeah. You walk in the room with a strap on, you're gonna see an erection from me that'll never be the same again. What if what if it's a fucking it's it's the old fucking heater that's as big around as that fucking light bulb? She better take it slow. Okay. <laughs> what if it's that it's that two vista we talked about? Yeah. <laughs> Someone is push popping me before this show ends. She's, she's fucking coming at you like a fucking piston. Wait, 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 wait. You <laughs> stomped on my foot. I am gone. I don't care. Yeah, a girl, that's different though. Here we go again. Mm. All right, 
Like, if I were to mm-hmm. suck another dude's dick, I would consider that gay. But if another dude were to suck my dick, I'm okay with that. Because that's just how it is in my mind. So, like, but if a chick walked in and she was like, just, wait, what is she wearing? Just the peg? Just the strap on? Just the strap on. Maybe, let's say, do you have let's a say bottle the strap of on. Because we're not going to dry on this one, yes. weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> strap on a little bit of fucking lingerie. Yes. Perfect. Yes, I'm, I'm game. You're down. I'm game. Hey. Everyone knows the purple dinosaur story. Yeah. She made you suck me, it. No, she did not make No, if she made would you Yes, yes, it's a fake artificial I don't think the podcast knows the purple dinosaur My story. wife told me if I wanted to have anal sex with her, that I had to have something in my ass first. So, like, I was all game about it. Well, here's the problem yeah, with yeah. this. When you have not had many things in your ass. Not <laughs> many. At the, time. At the same it. time or just consecutively? <laughs> no, because like, I've had stuff in my ass, like fingers. You know, like I, I'm a big finger guy. I'm all about the prostate milk and, you know. <laughs> can, you, can, you give me that sound, can you give me that sound effect again? Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, but like that, that's replacing your little intro thing. That's that. And here's the thing: my wife <laughs> said you have to stick a dildo in your ass, and I. This is what I said verbatim. If my wife is watching. She can comment that this is what I did. I got on the bed like a fucking champion. All all right, like a Roman goddamn gladiator. And I threw my legs behind my ass and my wife went to shove it in. And she goes, I can't get it to fit. I said, give me that motherfucker. I put lube on the head of it and put it in my ass. Here's where things went south, though. (laughs) This is where shit got bad. I was like trying to shove it in. I got it. Over the ring, you know, got the head in, and all of a sudden, my anxiety fucking struck, and I clenched. This thing was probably seven and a half to eight inches long. Two inches of it was hanging out of my ass. I literally go, get it the fuck out of me! Get it the fuck out of me! I'm trying to grab it, but this thing is covered in loop, and I am fucking just sleeping. I am losing this goddamn war. I am just, I'm trying to pull it out, my wife's like, hold still, hold still, like, I can't! It hurts so fucking bad, you don't understand. I am so sorry I ever wanted to fuck you in the ass! So finally, I get this thing out of me, I catch my fucking breath, and I go, it's your turn. And my wife goes, okay. That's not the story I heard. I got it. I got about three seconds of anal sex, and my wife goes, I gotta poop, I gotta poop, I gotta poop. And that was This it. isn't the story I that heard. That is, I had never told anybody a true story. I was dying. I was in I heard pain. you went to the hospital for this. Oh. Who the fuck told you that? That's the main story that what everybody's told. the fuck? No, about. dude, I pulled it out like a champ and went on with my life. That's not what I heard. I guys the... at bars. You think I can't handle one dildo in my ass and slip them too far in? I'll tell you what, I could probably put Mr. Hands to shame if I put my mind to it and I practiced. Maybe not. Maybe not truly that, but I mean, it's just, this, oh, this fuck. is fucking me. I know, I, I, know I get it, yeah. No, I never fucking went to the hospital. I literally. Yeah, I remember he liked shit in his I, ass, too. Uh, blame this on. Yeah, he likes the rim. The rim tickles. No, just, he fucking likes shit in his ass. Just the rim. Just the rim. Just, just the, the rim. rim. He says he's, he's a closet. He's a closet. No, just the rim. <laughs> I haven't gotten in there yet. I mean, don't get me wrong. But like I've experimented and tried. And you know what? In, in just like, oh, she's good at it. She'll be like, he'll be like, yeah, I let her do it. Yeah, yeah I let her do it. Hey, it was her. It's all right. We're getting married. <laughs> she's my fiance. <laughs> it wasn't twelve inches. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> See, and that's that's just where I'm different. I think uh, anal penetration on a man is a homosexual act, and it's not that I'm homophobic because I have a lot of gay friends. And please, just, please stop taking your pants off. It's your Christian. Um, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good Christian. I'm a practicing boy. Catholic. But, hey, hey, sodomy's a fucking part of Catholicism. You fucking know you were raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic, okay, raised Christian. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but my, uh, my fucking old sphincter, the old brown eye, the old stink star, is a fucking exit only. Stink no, star, I've never no heard that. No fly zone. I've never heard, heard that. that. Uh, never heard my that. My chocolate starfish has never You've been never heard the old stink star? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. That's I a learned fun. so many That's a classic. The English verbiage on this show is profound. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that is exit only. No. Yeah, uh, that went down. I mean,
mean, I, that went down as possible episode title. The old stink star? The I, old that stink. is perfect. The other, no, wait, wait, we have you back. The other one got, was, I oh. was drugs. What? The other title is, I was drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I really was. <laughs> I, I really was. was. I was. You don't understand. I fucking, some, there's days I come home and I will tell my wife, I'm like, I fucking ate Subaru. She's like, what happened today? I'd be like, nothing. I can't do drugs when I'm there. I can't even do drugs on the weekend. She's like, you just need to calm down. I was like, I could if I did some drugs. <laughs> you want a beer? No, because I'll have 11. And then I have to go to work tomorrow. I remember those. I miss going to work drunk. I miss those days. I mean, like, bel- hey, I used to do it too. Belligerently so. drunk. Yeah. Like, I would leave the cactus at 3 in the morning, continue to drink on the drive home, yeah, go of home, sodas. stop at fucking McDonald's, go to work, Pick and they'd be like, they would put me downstairs, and they'd be like, hey, you need to stay here if you want to keep your job. And I'd be like, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Wherever I start, I'm not going to stop. Don't worry. You'll find me here in four hours. Yeah, I used to close down Brothers and do the oh, same thing. Oh, my God. Fucking especially on Wednesday nights. Does that make me a terrible person? Or just an alcoholic? Absolutely not. No, it just means society's not ready to handle what we are. Which is alcoholics. We have well, I'm not an meetings. alcoholic. I don't fucking drink at home. I don't drink at home either, but I drink excessively on the road. Oh, I drink I think it's called binge drinkers. The, the only time I drink, honestly, is on this podcast. Do you go to the spot? I've been there a couple of times. I go to the fault is where okay, I Okay, you know what? God, I'm telling you right now. Fucking place. You have looked familiar since the moment I walked in the room. Not to sound weird or rapey in any way. <laughs> but didn't I roofie you once? No, so, that's uh, so that one. Oh, no, it wasn't roofing. It was raw hypnol. That's why I had flashbacks anyway, yeah. of a giant purple I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I've met you at the spot. Oh, uh, probably. You have been outside by the fire pit. I can probably. Okay, there we go. That's how I, I don't it. remember it, but that's not that's surprising. Okay. I so. just remember the fire pit. Really? I've been to the spot like four or five times, and I remember two of them. So it was probably one I'm of the other you, I, times. I'm telling you, I've met you. I know I have. Whether it's this life or a past life, I've met you before somewhere. I didn't want to get into my I, past life. I mean, it, you were talking about going to the cactus. It could have been the cactus, because I used to go there all the time. I mean... Any bar in town, it's possible, so. Any bar? Most bars. How about moms? Um, I've actually never been there, but okay, so one of my friends. definitely not moms, okay. Yeah, one of my friends goes there, but not I. I she, don't remember. She's tried to get me to go there. I don't remember your friend. Yeah. But I remember this or guy who went there. <laughs> was it the guy you kissed? No. No, that was at uh, checkerboard. the checkerboard. Yes. Oh. I just really want. They have really good I just really want to get too. that out there so people understand, especially at work. That shit does, it, 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 will, it will never, ever, ever bother me. I will always go to bed and not think fucking twice about what I did the night before. Always. I don't know why. I'm just that person. I don't know if I'm just so immorally fucking corrupt that I can do <laughs> it. But like, no regrets. No, no regrets. regrets. <laughs> Dude, you know what I told you? know what I said the other day? So, I was talking about Subaru's Appreciation Day. And I want to bring this up. Because you're... Well, you don't work there anymore. That's all right, though. Did you, you know what I realized? I fucking escaped from that show. I know. Show. But you know what I realized? I don't miss you as much as I thought I did. Because I looked at you there, too, the other day. And I'm like, eh, shithole. And you were gone. And I didn't even think about you. But... But it wasn't a shithole when I was down there. No, it was a great place. But right I was thinking was. that we need to get Subaru to get an Appreciation Day for the Associates. Not my goddamn children that I work here to support. I love my kids. And when Christmas comes, they're like, oh, my dad loves me because he works at Subaru. And they pay him stupid amounts of... See, there we go. Don't fake me out early, but I'll fucking dip and fucking get gingivitis or whatever. The, I don't even know what the fuck... Anyway, it fuck. fucking only affects Cancer. me, you cock breath. Not when we kiss. Did you want to date Tyler? <laughs> no. Yes, you did. No, you yes, did. you did. You anyway, did no, I think Subaru needs to put together an Associate Appreciation Day for the associates. Not your fucking family members, not your fucking uncle's cousin's fucking college roommate, just the fucking associates. That's and their have. spouse. Just their no, no, associates. No, we have two. We have two. One, used for, to do that at one for only men, and then one for uh, the, the uh, employee and their spouse. No kids. Okay, perfect. Subaru we used to. We need to do this. Because I want to go get a fucking hotel down in Indy, 
All That's right, what Subaru used to do. I know, and they stopped because someone threw a flaming couch off one of the fucking balconies. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Yes, this is the story Why that would I was you do told. That? Because <laughs> when you get fucked up, that would probably if this would. That's me in my past life. Someone have you ever lit a couch on fire, Miranda? Have you ever lit a couch on fire? No, I have not. Have you ever thrown a couch off something very high in the air? No. If you had, then you would would understand. understand. (laughs) And I really just think that, like, there are so many good things we could do. Like, here's the thing, okay? Like, the whole beef in Sealer 2 shit, I'm not going to name names because I don't really give a fuck. Oh, we got some beef? Oh, yeah. What do you hear about that? I want to hear about beef. But, here's the thing. Put a fucking boxing ring, bare knuckle boxing ring, take them people and be like, hey, listen, you two are going to fight each other. Can and I, when you're done... Can I can I come back and fight a couple people? No. But then, Fuck like, off. I got two up in room 311, like, everyone's just getting naked and hopping on top of someone else. Because there's 3,500 employees. Like, it just happens. There's 7,000 like employees. A pile of naked body. Damn it. Shit's my wife. I think she heard what I was saying. <laughs> I didn't mean hop on anyone female. Um, that's what I say. But I'm saying there's just so many things that our work could do that would make it better. I don't, I love my kids. I love my kids. Like I love, there's nothing in this world I love more than my kids. But you know what I don't want to do? I don't want to take my kids to work because I work for my kids. I don't want to fucking bring my kids be like, hey, look what my work's doing for you. I want my kids to be like, hey, dad goes to work and makes all this money and then gives it to us because we're fucking spoiled. And then, you know, like, once a year, dad and mom, they leave, and they come back on a bender, and we don't even know if they're going to last anymore. So I read an article uh, about three months ago that said, you know, it was one of the, um, like, cheesy, like, life quote bullshit things, but it actually had a bunch of... Ow! Ow! Miranda! God damn you! <laughs> Anyway, so now that Miranda almost severed my leg, I didn't do it. yeah, you did. You got up and did it. You I did it. You. But um, that I almost want to take spot. That well, go ahead. Fucking come on down. I am. I'm coming on down. I'm gonna let Richard get fucking in position here. All right, there we but, go. But uh, that parents, whether really whether nice. single parent homes or you know traditional families, if parents devoted their life to their children, they were less likely to be happy long term than they were if they focused on themselves and just provided their kids a good household to grow up in. Instead of focusing all of their time and energy on giving their children everything. And I thought that was kind of interesting. That's very interesting. Because that's kind of the way that we do it. You know, my daughter is obviously the fucking first first and only priority in my life. Um, but my wife and I aren't stuck each other, up each other's ass 24 hours a day, number one, which is one of the only reasons that we're married. <laughs> number two, um, we just don't, not everything is about our child. I go do stuff I want to do, she does stuff that she wants to do, and then we do stuff with her together. And then there's never, um, oh, we have to go do this with the kid today. You know, travel baseball, shit like that, you know? So, I'm sure your kids play sports or are going to play sports. My my son plays sports. It's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. But you, and, and, you know, I played sports all the way up until, obviously, I graduated high school. But I did travel sports, and I did, I fucking showed livestock, too. So, every weekend, my family was somewhere new. Somewhere. Somewhere. And it was miserable. You know, we, we have sat down and talked about all the vacations that we could have went on. I was a fucking 10-year 4-H member. You could suck. Me. <laughs> Dude, you had me. Like, I was so involved in this conversation. And you, you said I him. showed livestock. And, you and I was like, him. oh my god. What's fucking wrong with livestock? I was like, where's this going? I fucking know how to take care of animals. Do you? No. <laughs> but you know how to take care of a sheep. Fuck off. You know how to make out with a dude at a bar. I think I win. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, but uh, well, I'll tell you what. I've never fucking went down on a sheep, but you went down on a dude. We got there, Miranda. Little, fu- little fucking, little fucking taste. <laughs> little that, fucking sweetness. That's not a little. Anyway, I'm going to Do you want to stay there? I, I, no. It I, got exponentially hotter, so no. no you cannot <laughs> stay there. No, I, I have to. It was like I, laying on top of the in, oven. In all seriousness, which that does not come out of me. I agree. 
I really do agree with you on this. Because, you know, your parents, that you have to, you can love your kids and nurture your kids, but even though you have kids, and this sounds really bad if you understand, but if you understand if you're a parent, your kids don't always have to be your main focus. Exactly. Because you still have... You, you still have a spouse. You have to fucking, number one, devote time to yourself. But number two, you have to take time and focus that on your spouse. Number three, you have to give your spouse an escape. And it sounds bad wording it that way. but away. So my wife does 90% of the parenting of our kid. Because I work a lot. And when I'm not working, especially now I'm a college student again, I'm very busy. So my evenings are... Spend as much time with my kid as I can. I cook all of the meals, mostly. So I am pretty much busy 24 hours a day. So it's on her to take care of the kid. And she does a fantastic job. But I have to give her a break sometime. You know? Otherwise, you're going to go fucking nuts. <clears throat> hey, my wife's the escapes the Cheesecake Factory. I take, I try to take out there like once every two, three months. We'll go out there, have just, just us. Just you us. eat a whole cheesecake by oh, yourself. No, I don't eat a whole cheesecake. But I'll tell you what, the cheesecake. You're telling me right now that you wouldn't eat a whole cheesecake would by I? yourself? Would I? Would I? Yeah. Yo, fuck. <laughs> Their fucking cheesecake's are, good. Are, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, it is. The last time I, I drove to Indy, like, three <laughs> months ago, cheesecake. only to get cheap. Like, my wife goes, hey, where are we going? I was like, to Indy. She goes, what for? I was like, don't, don't worry about it. And we <laughs> got to the Keystone exit, and she's like, you fucking drove down here for cheesecake, didn't you? I was like, fuck, yeah, I did. So, so, you know, I look down on fucking Blaine for dry jacking it all the time, but if he told me that he jacked off with cheesecake, I would fucking praise him. I would give him a gold star. I would, actually, I would fucking give you a medal. I Guess what eat. we're doing tonight. Are you about to get pegged with cheesecake as lube? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. Gonna get, there's going to be an episode Blaine got pegged. Or with the cheesecake pegging lube. of Blaine. Or with, this is the pegging. The pegging. <laughs> We've already had the blaine we're yeah. gonna have the peg. We know he this is coming. No. no, he can't say no. You're Oops. here. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops. Wait till you put a ring on it, girl, and then it's your decision. You just walk in. You just walk, and I want you to walk in with this massive. Let me know. Let dick. me let me like know when you're gonna pick the dick inch. out, and I'll go with okay. you. I will help you. I, I will help you pick the dick. This out. This just like as wide as this microphone. You just walk in. And you just got like, this thing. Why does it have to be? Blame. Why does that be a, as wide as it? Why can't it be that microphone? No. I have a special connection with that microphone. That's my that's my microphone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that you could get a comfortable enough. Outer coating for that microphone. That. It's not about comfortability. <laughs> yeah, but I it's mean, it's about what she wants. Once, once <laughs> your shit gets packed into the mesh fucking screen of that mic, I don't know that it's gonna sound as good acoustically. I mean, it's okay. We only Hi. use it. We only use it for guests every now and then. Oh yeah, it's because it's an Anyway. Stop licking it. I'm not licking it. I was <laughs> sniffing it while you guys were making attention. sure it wasn't already used. Onions and ketchup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this smells like what Blaine farted yesterday. Oh. You weren't even at work yesterday. No, I was not. It was just cool. Because I masturbated three times, dude. I had a good time with myself. You wore yourself out so you couldn't go to work. Actually, I'm going to tell you what. I got to that third time, and I was just like... You ever, you ever fucking beat that thing like it owes you money? To yeah, the point, I did. To the yeah. point where your fucking hand starts to cramp up? Yes. And <laughs> girls masturbate, too. Yeah, but I'm talking about beating a dick. No. Girls, it's like, when you hey, finger... It's like, it's like, oh, why? But I have to finish. No, Whose masturbation looks more violent? Women or men's? Women's. What the... He's dropped everything. Oh, here's the fireball. little fucking pop-up thing. Leave Don't my fucking me. pop socket alone, you fuck. Don't judge me. <laughs> you made me spill beer on myself. I did not make you spill beer. You did. Richard, wasn't this your futon? No, 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 no. Oh, thank Wait, God. was it? No. <laughs> God, I hope not. No. Because I remember you I'm got a first, When you first moved in here, you I'll got I'll tell you what, time. that you would never have wanted the food. Not that, like, I didn't it even had history. Use... Oh, yes. <laughs> it had a lot of my dead babies on it. Oh. Well, that's s- what that spot was yesterday. Was your aim bad? No. No, it was just overflow. Sometimes you make a deposit. Sometimes you make a deposit, and the bank. Sometimes the levy breaks, boys. I can't help it. You just can't. You 
know, they can't accept You're telling me things. you had a lot of wet dreams. No, not a lot of wet dreams, just a lot of, like, full vaginas. You would fuck up a wet dream. I would not fuck up a wet dream, I'd be part of it. I'm your <laughs> Freddy Cougar tonight, Colin. Oh! You, oh. <laughs> you think I'm gonna kill you, but then all of a sudden you look down and I'm gonna suck your dick, I'm like, ah, you said this would be gay! <laughs> Somehow it got rapey again. <laughs> Somehow, we, we don't know how. It's okay, it's okay, it's 2018. What's rape, really? You put mic in your mouth. What is yeah. rape? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. What is rape? <laughs> Baby, please hurt me. <laughs> please, please hurt me. <laughs> Some more. Some more. <laughs> oh my god. So I asked a question, uh, Cameron, last week, or maybe it was yesterday. Did someone actually No, it was, la- it was last Friday. Sex related. <laughs> so uh, he asked me a bunch of hypothetical questions. Is and Cameron propositioning you for intercourse? No, uh, but Cameron. he was asking me a bunch of hypothetical <laughs> questions, so I, I hit him with a hypothetical question that he couldn't answer. Oh, shit. Did and he tell you I was his was? daddy? Huh? Which was? Oh, I'm getting there. Uh, if And I asked him, if you could hate rape oh. any celebrity, who would it be? Channing oh, Tatum. God. Channing Tatum? Hate rape. It's not. You're not hate fucking. You it's not a spite it, like... fuck. It's non-consensual. What the fuck did I say? Channing Tatum? Yeah. You, you would hate rape. He no, I would love to rape Channing Tatum. I just really <laughs> wanted to... Channing Tatum's fucking sexy. No, I mean, this, this is... You hate you them hate so much. Person. Ellen you DeGeneres. Oh, Ellen DeGeneres. Sorry, that's what came... I was literally getting there. Ellen, no, or Ellen. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, uh, no! I hate rape. This no! Oprah uh, Winfrey. Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Why is it all talk show hosts? <laughs> <laughs> Conan O'Brien. I hate your goddamn daytime TV. Fuck you. Actually, if I, <laughs> if I had to hate rape any celebrity talk show host, it'd be Jimmy Fallon. Because at one time, Jimmy Fallon was like hilarious. He's like Dane Cook. You know, he peaked. Well, and, and everyone's like, oh, hey, this guy's still funny. He's not. He's not. That's the thing, though. Like, Dane Cook specifically, and I'm gra- glad you brought that up. Dane Cook has always been will always be forever <coughs> funnier than fucking Daniel Tosh ever was and ever will be. Daniel Tosh is not fucking funny whatsoever. Fight me about it. I will fight you. I will fight you about that. Yes. Daniel I'm Tosh sorry. is not double fucking team. funny. Oh my god, let's double team him. You I'll got two straight ones, let's asses. go. Well then. Daniel Shoot. Tosh is not fucking funny. <laughs> Daniel Tosh is fucking, have you seen his stand-up? His stand-up is good. I love his stand-up. show, not The show's not so funny. good. Yeah, no. not, I don't not care for his stand-up. He, he, Eddie Murphy in the 80s is fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Eddie Murphy in the 80s is fucking funny. That's apples and oranges. Daniel Tosh is not fucking funny. Dude, Daniel Tosh's stand-up. You know who's funny? Stephen Lynch. Oh my god. You know funny? Fucking Chris Titus. Yes. Yes. Oh, dude. You know what's funny? Dennis Leary. Yeah. You know who's not funny? Fucking Daniel Tosh. Okay. Wow. You know what? He I obviously have... would hate Ray Daniel Tosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I would. I would. I hope hold on, hold on. Hold on. I would butt fuck Daniel Tosh to death. You would not. <laughs> tag him. You would not. <laughs> You're in Miranda, Miranda, who would you hate Ray? I said Taylor Swift. Okay. And Ooh, Alex? she actually looks good now. I would. I would. I hate her personality, though. What like, personality? Really she doesn't have a soul. Yes. <laughs> How can you let's, call let's, her let's, having a personality? Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. We gotta walk Alex through this. Okay. You gotta take me down. Just hold my hand. Okay? We're gonna. We're gonna. Oh, go, we're gonna, we're gonna go. We're yeah. gonna go down the rabbit hole, right. so to speak. So, you are there any celebrities you just cannot stand? A lot. She actually said one. Taylor Swift. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. I okay. Can't so stand like. Are there any that you would just want to take all the power out of their life and just leave them an empty take husk? Take your bitch. Husks. An empty husk. An, an empty game. husk. Jennifer. An empty soulless husk yep. of what they used to be know, because you took away from them everything yeah. with your sexuality. So fucking Good hot. God. <laughs> Where the fuck did this, like, question come from in the your... The depths of our souls. You gotta remember, like, Alex, he dry jacks it until oh, he bleeds. Oh, okay, yeah, that's why. <laughs> He's just doing that. He's like, mm, hate rape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's punching himself in the Why was I born with you? <laughs> <laughs> his, his little pelvic fucking paunch is bruised from how much he fucking dry jacks it. This all started from when he first got his first job at Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing back here? Touching dicks? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Not the sausage. I mean, the pepperoni. I mean, look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> or don't. Blake just makes the soulless 
eye contact with the customer. Yeah, you're not going to let this one go. Yeah, you look at me again. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's participating. I know. <laughs> Even Miranda participated. I know. I mean, I always participate. I can't get a word in with your loud mouth. Fucking speak mm. up. Jesus Christ. Establish dominance. <laughs> you're finger banging him in the ass. The least you can do is fucking have a little you bit of pseudo testosterone and you speak up. Too. What? She's going to establish her dominance by finger banging you. Come on with it. I'll be your Huckleberry. You got this. I'm not stepping away. You'll be a daisy if you do. We'll do a three-way. That's why I didn't like this. She's got ten fingers and there's three assholes. That's three and a half for each of us. Because I really like that Taylor Swift? All right. I like that. I, however, said Dakota Fanning. Whoa! See, I cannot stand You and I have talked about this before. I would do that totally consensually. Dude! I think I think Dakota Fanning is fucking attractive. Holy shit, that pisses me off. Have you not seen Cat in the Hat with fucking Mike Myers? In the <laughs> Wasn't she like 12? What? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Yeah, right. this took a whole new level up. No, I'm and just saying, no, I'm a, hold on, whoa. Before we get there. You got rapey okay. real quick. Hold on. Her acting in that movie was superb. I was That's talking about fucking her in Twilight. Okay, you perverts. Wow. Yeah, next, just, next yeah. week we're going to get to yeah. Man on Fire when she was even fucking younger. <laughs> or little, what was that movie with Britney Snow fucking, or Britney Murphy? Oh, little yeah. Black Book. Okay, look. When she was like seven. We are talking fucking Dakota Fanning in the Twilight, all right? Not in the fucking den. You're the one who said I mostly Adam. hated her in War of the Worlds. What? And I'm not saying that's when I would fuck her. She I'm was saying a little kid. That one? Yeah, she was really annoying. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. So wait, hold on. So I can take the heat off of me. At what point would you have hate fucked Dakota Fanning? Currently. Currently. Why currently? Because of all her past. I'm as judging a her child? for her past. Yeah, as a child. Remember oh, that time on the weird. show when I wore a. I'm uh, leaving now. Cut off shirt. <laughs> a Drew Barrymore shirt. And yes. That, and I said, oh, I've always thought Drew Barrymore was hot. E. I love Drew Since E.T. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember this. I but, remember but this. When E.T., oh, I was a child, so it was okay. Yes, it was okay. I used to fuck four to girls when I was are, Wait, Hold on. Then. There <laughs> are seven-year-old sexual offenders because of, they just happened to see, like, a little girl naked and their parents got way out of hand. Right. Dude, so, we are not here that to is just a, That is not okay. okay. <laughs> let's not talk about that. No. Let's, <laughs> just, <laughs> let's just skip that subject yeah. right there. Right? It's not a subject. I'm just making a point. Who are you? <laughs> I never said anything about myself. What the now, fuck is happening? Now I know what you do in this room. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, You'll you never. don't. I'll tell you what, yeah, that keyboard is sticky as fuck. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's the cum uh, Skylar, <laughs> Skylar makes a correction. I actually have a friend that that's what they used to Who made a correction? Uh, uh, Miss Skylar McLaughlin, wife of Tyler McLaughlin. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uptown True. Girls, not Little Black Book. I thought somebody, whoever mentioned that. Him. I, I, was not I thought you were I wrong on that. No thanks, thanks Scott. About. I can't fucking remember what it's I, called. I it's okay. It's Brittany okay. Murphy was fucking hot, and then she I, died. I, I got sad. I don't remember the name of the movie. Oh, my God. Sad. You know fucking Dakota Fanning's filmography. All right? I don't. You're like, if me, you were to tell me You're Jim telling Gary's, me you wouldn't fucking knock the bottom out of Dakota Fanning No, right I would now. knock the fuck out of her, dude. Okay, thank you. She got that weird fucking hey, I don't know if I'm going to ever be famous again look. Yeah. I like when Britney shaved her head. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's kind of when Tara Reid went ain't, when she had anorexia. Oh, she looks horrible. <coughs> right after she got her boob job. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Dude, that's, that's a perfect phase, dude. Never found dude, Tara Reid. Dude, when they're bottoming oh, out, you're, it's are you time fucking to kidding get me? in. Tara Reid was Holy fucking hot. Oh, okay, yeah. She that's a rapey hot. as well. With that fucking, <laughs> with that fucking raspy okay, ass right. voice. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you right now. I'm listen, hard right now. I had a fucking game plan, okay? When Lindsay Lohan oh, and Tara God, Reed and so Britney Spears hot. jumped off the deep end, this is no joke. We were at work one day, and they are like, what do you think? Do you really want to work here for the rest of your life? And I go, no. And I was talking to John, and you know John. Yes, why Okay, and John goes, what do you want to do? And I said, honestly... I'm debating on taking all of my money right now and flying out to L.A. and trying to fuck Lindsay Lohan, Tara Reid, or Britney Spears because this is perfect. Sounds shitty in the end. Wait a minute. Hold on. Still not welfare, though, so I'm not at the bottom of the fucking barrel. But I would fuck... be the next I would fit. fuck one... Yes, exactly. If Lindsay Lohan popped out a child, I'm getting, like, I don't know, seven to ten grand a month. Okay? 
live pretty fucking comfortably. If I fuck Tara Reid, probably getting seven to ten grand a month in child support. They're in rehab, living comfortably. If I fuck Britney Spears, K Fed was at one time getting sixty thousand dollars a month. You tell me he is not he's smarter than Bill Gates. <laughs> at this fucking point, that goddamn guy's a genius. I got sixty thousand dollars a month because I fucked Britney Spears and she was like, Here, here's two kids. I wanna do drugs. You take them, I'll pay for everything. And Kate was like, Alright, I want a nanny, I want a motorcycle, I want a mansion, and I don't wanna fucking work for it. And I want so, some dude, drugs. That's a goddamn American dream! I wanna fucking get paid sixty grand a month. I only make sixty grand a fucking year. Well I make more than sixty grand a year, but fuck me. Would I take care of some fucking stupid bitches fucking Kids that can't sing anymore? Absolutely. I can't wait till she fucking goes back out on tour. $75,000 a month? I'm living like a king. My name's Kevin Federline. <laughs> Have you seen Britney oh. lately? She fucking looks good. Yeah, she looks, looks, looks real but good. Face, and, it, but here's what? the fucked up part. Her this is what's fine. Saying. She got her kids back. Either way, she looks but fucking good. here's the thing. She looks she, real good. Here's the thing. This is even better. This is even smarter. Oh my god, this is the American dream. Not only did she get her kids back, but she makes so much money, she still has to pay K-Fed 20 grand a month. Oh my god! Oh, take them back and you're still paying me 20 grand a month? I don't know what my parents did, but what they did was right. You Holy are so fuck. red right now. I know. That's the most passion I've ever seen out because of you. Because Kate Fed is so smart. we were talking about Kate Fed. He is so smart. <laughs> he is so untalented. The guy cannot do fucking shit for talent. He can barely, he could barely fucking dance with Brit when he was like, hey, I bet there's a bird in there that doesn't stop. I bet there's a bird in there that's going to cost you 60 grand a month. Ha ha! I'm Kate Fed. That's not how it worked. I am so hard right now. <laughs> I haven't wanted to do my K-Fed rant for so long. When I read about him having a nanny and a custom motorcycle and living in Malibu and then still having $7,500 a month in spending cash, I was like, I am jealous. I am fucking super jealous, all right? You fuck one celebrity and live high on the hog forever. Imagine if you Britney fuck Spears, Matt Damon. Britney Spears is the next fucking share. She's the next goddamn share. It's toxic. That's good. <laughs> oh my God. I see what you did there. <laughs> You, okay. could, you could go one step farther though. You could Kevin go fucking Federline, Jessica Simpson. He had one saw. He had one thing, and he goes, "Oops." He had a second kid. And this was Kevin Federline's. Fuck, this is what he said to her. He goes, he looks at Brittany. He goes, "Oops, did it again." That's <laughs> Kevin Federline, and I fucking love it. It's just like Justin Bieber. Not Justin Bieber. Justin Timberlake. Now Justin Bieber is just as untalented. But Justin Timberlake. The guy is so untalented. But I'll tell you what, Jeff Beals like, put kids in me, put kids in me, put kids in me. Because even if my career fails, guess what? I'm still collecting 60 grand a month. How so is, she's just a smart. How is Justin Timberlake untalented? He is on fucking One, talented. he's funny. He does what comedy. What the fuck? Two, he can sing. Oh, yeah. He can sing. He's okay. funny. He always has been hey, able to. Quick, 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 he's funny. 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 He's I knew that was gonna be your. He's funnier response. than Daniel Tosh. He can actually dance. He can sing, and I would take his babies on my mouth. Yep. Oh, so you would be gay for him. You would be gay for Justin Timberlake. Would you let Justin Timberlake fuck you in the ass? No. But I would go on the other no. side of a glory hole for Justin Timberlake. <laughs> what if you didn't know if it was Justin or Justin? I would just pray. Justin what if it's just his backup manager? Everybody, everybody dancers? that's on the other side of a glory hole for me is Justin Timberlake. <laughs> That's how he stays hard. I'll get him eventually. Yeah. I've been in love with Justin Timberlake since I was in the fourth grade. And he's just like, a, he's a nice I'm guy. I pay him with his hands in my mouth. Like, I don't even fucking care. His hands? Yeah. Right, after he fucking cleaned out his toilet. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's what I'm just talking kidding. about. That's, that's disgusting. We are fucking no, like, I don't. No, I do not delicious. believe that statement you just said. I really do believe you'd lick his fingers after. No, not, not the toilet. That's. What if you didn't know though? And then he was like, I was in the toilet. And you'd be like, like ah. <laughs> I was <laughs> finger Too my late ass. now. <laughs> Good God. Where did this went fucking sideways? This has uh, been the sideways is, the whole yeah, time. It, it started out <laughs> sideways. We've just been. Steady. You know, it's a whole podcast where we've been gonna... rolling. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I have a serious, I have a serious thing to bring up. <laughs> you need a beer? I do need a beer. What's you need? 
whatever you want to get. And then there's zombie dust because I have a lot of zombie dust. I actually want to try that. No, can I have zombie good? dust? It's good. I don't want can another I? zombie dust. Are there no more slushies? I don't like a slime there? buster. No. There's oh. no slushies left. Are there slushies upstairs? Um, I would take a slime liquor. buster. Right there. Juice right here. Or right there. Grazie. There you go. So what is this? Juice buster. What is it? It's good stuff. I don't like it. I think yep. you like it. If so recently, on a se- more serious topic that's not rapey, but it's kind of... It's time we took a turn. But it Thank is, God. But it is kind of rapey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not rapey, it's just kind of rapey. Olivia Munn uh, threw a big stink uh, to Shane Black, the director of the new Predator film. Oh, yeah? Predator, that's get, what I am. <laughs> to get a scene removed from the movie because he hired a sexual predator. And she did not agree to be in a scene with a sexual predator. Go on. How do you guys feel about that? Wait, repeat that again? So, Shane Black mm-hmm. hired a actor to be a part of a role in the new Predator film. Okay. Olivia Munn was a part... I'm going to put my arm up here so don't, don't get weirded out. Uh, Olivia Munn was a part of that scene. Okay. And when she found out that he was a registered sex offender who has served time... What did he do? I don't know. Because if he, like, molested a young child, okay. But it was like, like he sent pictures of his dick to a 14-year-old girl. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. That's not even right. That is that wrong, from. but it's not as bad as... Okay, so let me let me get through it. Okay. So he did that, got convicted, whatever, did six months of actual jail time, you know, moved on from his life, rehabilitated, blah, 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 blah. So Shane Black has always been a part of the Predator franchise because he was in the original movie and then, you know, he got the the privilege to (laughs) direct this reboot of the film. Um, When she found out that he was a sex offender, uh, she leaked it to the media and threw such a big stink that they removed the scene from the film. And... um, I just wanted to see how everybody felt about that. Because I personally don't think it's right. I don't think it's right depending on what he did. I told you what he did. He showed his dick to a 14-year-old girl. Through digital devices. I still don't think it's right to show your dick to a 14-year-old it's girl. No, but, but he did his time. He didn't actually molest did anybody. Did he know she was 14? Yes, did I think so. And did, did they <laughs> know when they hired him that Shane Black he was knew. a predator? Yeah. So they hired a predator for... Predator? Yeah, but but <laughs> but, if, but if you're gonna go with our fucking so going there, so going there. I already said that. But if you're gonna go, you know, with our justice system, he served his time. He's re- rehabilitated yeah. enough to be a part of society. I don't agree with you. You know, okay, wait a minute. Let's backtrack a little bit. A couple months ago, or like <coughs> six months ago, I uttered the statement on this podcast that. If you're a fucking sex offender, you should be hung in the street for everyone to see, so everyone knows that, that if you that if you do something like that, you're going to be held accountable for the issues that you made, or the mistakes that you made. You are no longer allowed to be a part of society. A lot of people don't agree with that. So I'm going to play devil's advocate, and I'm going to go the other side and say, hey, this guy served his time. He's not a repeat offender. He, yet. Hold on. Let me finish before you interrupt. He is... A contributing member of society again. He's not being convicted of anything else. And to my knowledge, he's not doing anything bad. Somebody has a problem with it and gets his part removed from the film and then slanders his name across Hollywood. So playing devil, devil's advocate, I think that's wrong. Because it was wrong when I said we should hang him in the street. So it's wrong to, to hang him in the street, but it's... Not wrong to fucking ruin their life. Oh, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. How old's your daughter right now? Two. Two. All right, so 12 years down the road. Kill him. Okay. <laughs> so how can you want to fucking justify it because it's not I'm your playing, daughter? I'm playing devil's advocate. I know advocate. what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I don't feel like it. she had a point. Now she had a point, and she has an opinion. Hold on. She has an amendment. All right? Let's, let's just clarify a little bit. I am not saying what he did is right. No, I'm not I, well, saying. I, I'm, I'm not. That. I'm not saying that his punishment was enough. I don't believe it was. I think they should be hung in the street. But I also don't believe that an internet fucking pseudo celebrity should be able to continue to ruin someone's life <coughs> because they were a, a little bit unhappy with some some information that they weren't privy to 
which is personally none of her business. How is that? Wait, wait, wait. It's not her business. Whoa, 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 whoa. Him being a sex offender is not her business? Like, is he on the registry? Okay, well, then I feel like everybody who is in his working environment, like, and you should know that. Yeah, dude. They have, they have the ability to find that out for themselves. I mean, yeah. I you guess should not I guess have to carry I'm playing devil's advocate here, so don't misinterpret what if, I'm saying. If you do. You should not have to wear a sign on your fucking head that says, I'm a sex offender. You should. I believe that they should be hung in the street. I believe it should go even further than that. <laughs> Fucking hang them in the street and light their we body agree on fire. That we should do that. That's that's our response. We is that we feel the same way well, that you that. actually do, and your devil's advocate person. But I also personality don't, can go. I don't himself. believe that. <laughs> that you should the remove his scene. You should remove his scene because you're a predator fan. Don't ruin their life. Just kill them. Is what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. But I, what I'm saying, what I'm getting at, is I don't believe that. A, a fucking shitty celebrity should have the right to take away. Somebody. Anyone should have the right to take away that shit. It wasn't. It, if wait a minute, I wait a minute, if wait a minute, I wrote wait a, minute, a goddamn wait a minute. response. So if I came, if I called Subaru right now, if I called fucking Desiree tomorrow, and I said, "Hey, I saw Richard shooting up heroin in the parking lot before work," and they just fired you without drug testing you, how would you feel about it? Dude, you have to. That doesn't no, no, make no, no, sense. No, no, no. no, no. It does make total sense. It, does, it is apples not, to apples. It's, it's exactly what they did to this what actor. What the fuck are you talking? They removed his fucking scene because he was a pedophile. So now he does not get paid. You don't get paid by Subaru if you fail a drug test. If correct I, or incorrect. Correct, but okay. I have to take that drug test. If they said, hey, we're not going to look into this what at all. What are you all. talking about? They already know this dude's a pedophile. One person knew. Who cares? Now everybody fucking knows. Okay. So now it's apples, apples to apples. If it's I, not apples if to I apples. I cost you your job because I saw you doing heroin on Friday and Subaru just fired you. It was the, it is the exact same thing. What are you? You are breaking is. a law. What are you talking about? You are about? breaking because a law. But also, not all crimes are equal. No, but law is law. Means. If you break a law, you are a criminal. Well, the law is wrong. In my opinion, like lots of laws are wrong. Right, like, but the law <laughs> is the law. We have to abide by them as citizens, whether right, whether wrong, or indifferent. Whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. Whether you well, yeah. believe in so it I'm or just not. Saying that's my opinion. Yeah. If you are a citizen of the United States, you have to abide by the laws within these borders. So if you break a law, you have to be accountable for the decision that you made. If I cost you your job, whether you actually did heroin or not, it is totally irrelevant. It is the same thing. Dude. And what? that is wrong. Wait a minute, hold on. If he actually did heroin, if he actually, it doesn't matter. So wait, so actually wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. It does not matter. It, it is the same hold thing. On, hold on, wait. You are tell, you are compa- This is where I'm fucking lost. Okay, and tell me. Maybe it just might be the beer at this point. But you're telling me that if you were to call Desiree and say, "Hey, Rich was doing heroin," when they fired me. All right. But hey, look, I've got proof. That Richard was sending pictures of his dick <laughs> to a 14-year-old girl. I have proof. He has gone to prison. He has already done time. Like, he's done this before. But he will by our, probably but by do our it society, again. he has done his time. He has been rehabilitated. He has a right to Dude, be back in society. Look this up. isn't my view. This is the fucking country's view. There's That's no why our view. judicial system is set up the way it is. Look up, look up the statistics on how I many pedophiles... That. Go back after being rehabilitated. It is such a minimal. It doesn't measure. matter. They have the ability <laughs> and the expectation that they are going to be reintegrated into society. I don't agree with it. We have that same expectation when we send people back to Mexico, but look what happens to them. They get right back over here. So, so you're telling me, and and this isn't my opinion again, but a drug, a repeat drug offender that finally gets clean has any more right to be reintegrated into society than a sex offender. Yes. I don't think so. Yes, I agree. You are ruining people's lives in the same fucking way. You are kidding me. You, you are, are kidding doing me. harm to yourself and everyone around you. If I'm injecting heroin into my veins, those are my veins and my life that I take. If I'm touching other people's children, I'm stealing their innocence yes. and their families okay. with it. What about Absolutely. all the people that you hurt when you're a fucking drug addict? Dude, if I fucking... What if I don't? What if I'm one of those people that's... We're already? not talking about what if you don't. I'm talking about what if, if you, you do. If you do. You're saying ifs and do's are yeah. different. 
If I go and hurt my friends and family and I steal from them, yes, which, I'm a terrible person. If you person, want to bring out statistics, but, let's look up the statistics for that, but, which but, is very high. But here's the thing. If I want to be a hermit and I want to do heroin to the day I OD in my fucking apartment and they find me covered in mad magazines because that was my fucking thing, guess what? I didn't hurt anyone. I fucking contributed to Mad Magazine and fucking my apartment complex that now has a new place to rent to a new tenant. Because, That's an anomaly. Okay. But the frequency in which that happens. It doesn't is matter. Almost it doesn't nothing. matter. Here's the thing. You, when, it doesn't you, matter. when you are a junkie, I may hurt my mom and I may hurt hurt my dad, but their feelings for me over the years can be restored. What about the but children? It, hold on a second. If I, I don't have any children at this point. Let's just say I don't have any children. I'm specifically talking about the people with families. You can not, that is a family. I have a mom, I have a dad, and I have a wife. No, 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 no. I, my wife's pregnant. There you go. Mm -hmm. My wife's pregnant, and I fucking I'm kill I'm talking over. specifically about the people Why who have you, children you are doing us, that to their you children. Are putting, there is a difference. There is a you difference. are doing something to yourself, and then that causes harm to others. That is different from going directly to a person and causing direct harm to them. Thank harm you. is harm. No, it's not. It. No, it's not. You are wrong. Dude, if, if I'm Things injecting heroin... If I, all right, so look. Here's the thing. All right? If I'm if I'm doing fucking heroin, right? And I've got a wife. I've got kids. I have a job. And I kill over one day because I decide, man, my fucking shit's stressful. And I fucking... I'm like, all right, I'm going to shoot up. All right. Yeah, my kids are going to be sad. My wife's going to be sad. They're going to move on one fucking day. What if about... I'm, if I'm out, so what if you leave them a shit ton of fucking debt and financial hardship? Who cares? They're just going to move on from that? I, so... Are you seriously going to say, who cares? Are you kidding me? How about this? If I fucking take your childhood, if I steal your childhood because I wanted to diddle you, or okay. I wanted to send you so my are you not I stealing did. someone's childhood when you fucking shoot up Monday through Friday? No. Yes, you are. If I don't have kids, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about the ones that have you kids. You are only talking about one fucking, one fucking biased opinion. You are being fucking biased. Not I am everyone, not being biased. Not everyone has fucking kids. And not everyone is a fucking child molester. No, but you're right on that. But here's the thing. A child molester is a fucking child molester. Harming children. You still steal way more being a child molester than you do a drug addict. You cannot tell me otherwise. You I steal would, I innocence. I disagree. Innocence. People who grow up having bad fucking dreams. I don't... All right, so so say I did have a fucking kid. I'd rather them remember me shooting up as a junkie than someone touching them in fucking in middle school going, fuck, I don't ever want to have sex again when I get older. I don't ever want to be married. I don't, I don't ever want to have be an with intimate anyone. relationship. There you go, in any dude. Kind that's so much so more. So what about the children that grew up with parents that were never there because they were in some fucking house and were shooting up? I don't want to have children. They can I don't want to build meaningful relationships. I don't want to be around people because I've been abandoned for a fucking object. They, it's apples to apples, my man. It's not apples. It is to apples, apples to apples. We gotta just move on. It's not apples to apples. Agree to disagree. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy. How oh about man. the pegging? Let's get that. <laughs> so burnt to can we, go, can we talk about rape again? Jesus. <laughs> At least with rape, we understood where I stand. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> You're raping me. Touch his thigh. I am not raping you. You're ruining my life. <laughs> oh my god, do not. We are not You're doing this. You're stealing his innocence. You just stole my innocence. Good. I, didn't, I, want, I didn't consent to that touch. I want to put my hand in your lap right You're now. You're hurting my innocence. I want to blow watch. you live on podcast. Go ahead, we'll get banned from Facebook. Alright. But I hold power over you if you do. Hey, give me that blanket. We're doing this. <laughs> Fuck it, just put the pillowcase on his head. <clears throat> just smother me. Someone get a belt, too. I got one. I'll take it off right now. Hold me. I'll beat you to death. Me Grab death. me by the throat <laughs> when, I'm when he's finishing in my mouth. Did you just say spank me, daddy? Spank me, daddy. Spank me, daddy. So, Alex, uh. this is your first time on podcast. <laughs> what do you think so far? <laughs> what you I'm back? never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of screaming, but... You know, yeah. normally it's not entirely like this. this is no, I, I, I tune in all the time. Okay, yeah, you, you know yeah, that. You do. Yeah, you do. I, I, I usually don't watch the full thing, thing, but... I normally what? Tyler hasn't masturbated yet today. That's why I he's so angry. Well, I actually did jack up. Is that why you're so mad? That's why he's no, mad. No, I just... <laughs> he's backed up. I'm not going to get wrapped up in it again. Coming out of his ears. <laughs> I fucking grew up in a home where, number one, I didn't have parents, and the parents that were supposed to be around were never around, and that has permanently fucked me up in the view of my world. 
I have a sister who was molested. I had to raise her during that time and see what she went through. That's why I have the view that I do on people that get molested. If you're a fucking child molester, you should get fucking hung in the street and then lit on fire so people know that they're going to be held accountable if they do. But I'm fucked. You're telling me that I'm the way that I was fucked up is not as fucked up as the way that someone else was fucked up. You're telling me that the way that I was fucked up doesn't matter in the grand scheme. And that is fucking asinine. Yeah, I have a point behind mine. So do I. I live with a mom. I live with a mother who was a mother of four, a mother of two. My mom, me and my sister. My mom raised my aunt and my two uncles. Okay? And when my mom was a child, guess what? My mom was molested. Okay? By my, by knowing and willingly, my grandma would invite her uncles over to fuck my mom. Okay? These so we stories, have something in common. These were the things that my mom told me. And these are things that I've swallowed over the years. This is why when I look at my my daughters, I would swear to God, if someone laid a hand on one of my fucking kids, I would rather go to jail and have you fucking kill me through the judicial system for a wrong for for being wrong in the eyes of the public, but justify it in my heart. Because we I agree watch with I watch what my mom is my mom has been thirty eight years. 38 years my mother hasn't spoken to her own mom. I watched my mom talk to her mom last year for the first time. These are the words my mom said. Hi. My grandma said, hi. That was it. Those are the only two words those two exchanged. So, I feel very heavily on the fact of pedophilia or molestation or any of that. I do not feel, I justify it in my eyes that you don't even deserve rehabilitation. Whether you send your dick to a 14-year-old girl, whether you send your dick to a 16-year-old girl, I don't care what the fucking state's laws are. So we agree on that. You. We've we've, we've moved on from that. We agree. I understand where you're coming from. You, you, I was raised by a mother who I got lucky made it through that traumatic-ass shit and had me and my sister still. Okay? And I, I grew up through a childhood when I was a kid. I am not kidding when I say this. If I had milk, bologna, and I had fucking macaroni and cheese, or bread in the house, we were fucking doing good. If I had fish sticks, dad won on a scratch off. Not to mean that jokingly. That's the truth. That's how I was raised. I had a sister. After my mom went through all that and still had us, my sister ended up getting cancer at four years old. Wiped my parents out completely. My mom and dad were 43 years old. Yeah, 44 years old before they bought their second house. Their first house got lost because my dad worked so fucking much to cover my sister's medical bills. He worked two jobs. So Literally, we have an identical childhood. My my dad, my dad, mom would drive my dad to work in the morning, pick him up at night to drive him home so my dad could sleep in the car. My mom would feed him and my dad would go back to work so he could work double shifts back and forth. That's how I was raised. So the only thing different about our childhoods is you had parents around and I didn't. No! I had a mother... I had a mother who was in college the entire time so she could get a better job so my dad didn't have to work too. Yeah, I didn't have any parents to do that. So, I I get it. I get it. So, I, but I also had the same shit with my sister. I get where you're coming from. But, we need to move on from this. Speaking of, we have comments. (laughs) Uh, Mr. Clint Chase, former guest and possibly future guest. Um, says, I raised three birds once in a nest. I mean, the mother did most of the work, but you still get the point. No, get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck did I just turn back to? Richard tried to Break molest him? me. I did not try to molest him. I tried to I just him. ruined his life. I thought this was a bar. Everyone's uh, <laughs> Clint also <laughs> says, here. I was really confused. Clint also <laughs> says, I came in at an awkward point. Slowly walks away. <laughs> we're, well, no, I mean, we're just having a good conversation. I mean, that's... It's fucked up. It's just fucked up. It, it's traumatic fucked. past leave it, you it, with. Yeah, it, I mean, it fucks it But fucks let me ask you a question. Up. Let me ask you a question, honestly. Honestly. And to just bring a roundabout to this so we can stop here. Watching what my parents went through and knowing what you and your family has gone through, tell me that it has not given you a better future. Because I, I know that my mom and dad, even though through the hard times they went through, eventually my parents got their shit together. Because I watch it. I, you have to understand 
after my dad got done with my sister's leukemia, my dad became a drug addict. Straight up. Couldn't stay off the cocaine. Right. Couldn't stay off the marijuana. Couldn't stay off anything. My mom loved my dad. But tell me that this does not make you a better dad than you ever could have been. No, 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 it does. Okay, exactly. Because I told myself when I was about 10 years old, I will never, ever put my family through what I've been put through. Ever. Never, ever. Not even close. That's all. That's all I want to know. That's the same thing. Look what I do, dude. I work fucking 70, 80 something hours a week at right. work. It's just how I am. Yeah, it's that futon that'll get you. <laughs> yeah. It's a podcast free casting couch. It's, a casting it's dangerous. Ca- Damn, I was just about to smell the casting couch. It's only you. Is that what that smell is? <laughs> that's it. That's just Richard. You forgot Richard. to clean up. That's, that's, that's just oh, Richard. That's you. Okay. Yeah, that's a it hasn't from been Peggy. used. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it smelled. I knew it smelled. Cheesecake does not smell good after a few days, okay? It smells familiar. I see what she did there. I was going to say something. You're going to say a lot of things. Let's go on. Richard, you have an Instagram now. I do. He's had an Instagram for a while. A week. No, No. he's had it for a while. Rolo the Destroyer. Like six months. He's had it for a while. (laughs) Did you see my recent post? Can you put it up there? I saw it. Me and my dad. He sends me fucking videos and shit all the time and I don't ever watch them. Don't fuck you. Did you see the picture of me and my dad? That was my dad's idea. No, I don't ever get on. Two more guys at Walmart. I don't ever get on fucking Instagram. It's a shitty social media. Hold on. So so I'm at Walmart the other day. All right. My mom and dad came into town. And my dad and my mom, they're fucking like, I love my parents, dude. They're fucking great. Like, when they come to town... Or they come and see my kids, or me and my wife. They spoiled the shit out of us. Took us a Longhorn. Me and my dad joked because the lady goes, "Oh, what brings you a Longhorn?" And I was like, "Well, I was like, honestly, my dad won five hundred bucks on a scratch off, and we just wanted to feel fancy." The lady goes, "Oh, that's great." My dad goes, "No, he's just kidding. He got out of prison yesterday." But that's the kind of relationship me and my dad had. I have it. It says, "This is the original comedian. I am so glad." This man had sex with my mom. <laughs> 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 yes. And he did. He did have sex with my mom. And for yeah, that, he did. He did. He I really think he did. fucked the shit out of my mom. It was a cocaine high that night. He was like, I don't know if I'm going to come. Yes, I am eventually. You know? I'm like, I love you, Dad. And, you know, here's the thing. So my parents come to town, and I'm at Walmart with my mom and dad. This is the first <laughs> fucked up thing that happens. I was literally going to get toothpaste because I need a toothpaste. I know yeah. this story. So, this is true. <laughs> this is true as the fucking day I <laughs> Oh, walk. yeah, I know this one. I walk into the fucking thing and I'm like, do I want Crest or do I want fucking Colgate? I turn to the lady. I'm an Arm and Hammer guy. I went to the lady. I said, hey, what do you prefer? The lady looks at me. She has no goddamn teeth, so I know her opinion is wrong. It is unbiased at this point, all right? She, I'd go with the Colgate, and I'd be like, good thing I play you here. I see why you sell so much toothpaste. And I would have the other option. I also tell you about, I got sexually molested at Walmart the other day. That's another story. No, not her. Oh. An old lady. Was this a woman on February the February 13th, that was your first Instagram post. February 13th? Yes. Oh, and it yeah. took you this long to follow me? No, oh, no, 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 no. February 13th, and I stopped for a while because I didn't want all the notification things. We talked about this at the beginning of the show. Well, we've asked I the had things that this that Rolo doesn't bad, like though. you. Anyway, anyway, my dad, I'm standing there, my mom and dad are getting ready to check out. My dad's sitting there in a unicorn hat. He's got one of those face masks, you know? He and he's like, it. get over here, get over here. I need your mom and you to take a picture. So I get over there, and he's like, put this on. I put it on, and my mom's like, she, she's like, takes a picture, and my dad's like, hey, hashtag that two horny guys at Walmart, and I go, <laughs> hashtag, you you have mom search the internet, and you don't even have a smartphone, he goes, I know what hashtags are, and I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so he sends his hashtag to my sister, <laughs> oh my he sends it to my sister, my, my grandma, and my <laughs> All at the same time. He's like, put everyone in it. Hashtag two horny guys in Walmart. And then my dad goes, hey, is that how hashtags work? <laughs> I said, yes. Yes, it's a very good hashtag. So, yeah, so if, we, if you look at my Instagram page, you see the two guys. The one guy in the Mac tool shirt is clearly my father. The nope. guy that's semi attractive in the other one is me. Oh, I figured that was your dad. What's that? What what is your ha- what is what's your hashtag? What is your Instagram again? Rolo the Destroyer. That's underscore in between each letter. Yes. Or in 
each word, right? Yeah, the yeah. fuck the, the best part about my pick with him is his mask was all frumpy and looked old as shit, like an old unicorn. <laughs> and mine was like fresh. Like just came out the fucking you know, placenta. <laughs> like, like Brad Pitt as a unicorn. Oh god, Brad Pitt was a unicorn. You know what? what I don't want do you have I, there? Oh, I have rage. Just two horny guys at all. <laughs> That's the other one. There was another one where my dad was holding a hat. I did not want to post that one. And it was a cat, a black cat. And my dad said, just looking for some black pussy tonight. So <laughs> I, 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 was, I did need to post it, but I just don't want to seem racist. There was not enough cats in that just box to make that. it seem ethnicity friendly. <laughs> Walmart has a lot of, like, full head masks. Yes, like, weird shit. Yeah, this is mine like meeting me and Tay, me and Tay is yeah. it was actually in my trunk up until yesterday when I wore it into the office and now it's sitting in my office on like a tripod thing that my boss got and he put like a shirt over it oh, so, yeah. 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 Yeah, he's, he's my assistant it's fine <laughs> so yeah if, if anybody wants to follow Richard please on follow Instagram. me and now you're gonna get all the notifications oh I just said it now Rollo underscore the underscore destroyer. Rollo the destroyer. I just I just followed you. I was like, eh, why not? Dude, she did. Oh my god. We became friends. Well, we already were friends on Facebook because you waved at me, so (laughs) (laughs) You waved at me twice. I'm so glad the beginning of the show didn't get awkward. I have no I I I I I would like to say to mention something, because I have an autistic nephew. So, like, I'm not against people, like, learning disabilities at all. Trust me. I'm just glad the, the beginning of the show kind of, like, made me a little bit nervous. Like, I didn't smoke enough CBD oil before I got here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, because my the arthritis is kicking in. <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate you. Just sometimes. I always hate you. Well, I wasn't sleepy when I showed up either. So, it's like... Dude, wait, I gotta, I gotta bring up a topic. So I'm just glad that it went let it the right to wrap. Oh no, I mean, like I, I don't real really get like offended. I, I just know, speak I my opinion. And I do, and I like that. That's Thank a good you. thing. That, that, an opinion. Thank you for being that way. But You're welcome. I have because got I've got to break something. I try up. to speak my opinion. Oh, so oh, what oh, the fuck oh, is being offended at something accomplished? It like, accomplishes have nothing. A conversation it is about it something. is you giving power to that other person. Exactly, and I'm not control. about to fucking do that. Your head's way bigger than mine. Tyler. My. Oh, wow. It just like sunk down over oh, wow. your face. I, I feel like Nate Phillips right now. My hat is <laughs> yes. My my hat is <laughs> covering my hat is covering my eyebrows. Tyler, uh, now I have Tyler. Wait, I got you. I, I have got to bring something up that I really want to. Hold on, let oh, let Miranda let's, talk. Let's, let's finish. I want to talk. Miranda thing. wants to say something. Tyler, you are one of those people that makes. You, so your opinion is a lot different than most people you generally go with. I am the unpopular you opinion are, Yeah, guy. for sure. You are, and that's okay. I'm okay with people having their opinions. But you are one of those people that kind of make the other person who has the opposite opinion feel low. Like they have the wrong opinion. Good. You are. But what you just said. <laughs> Be <laughs> better. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Be better. <laughs> like, no, it, okay, no, 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 just listen. Let, let me finish. Let I me finish. I first. will justify. Please let, let him finish. Let, let her finish her, her he thought. He touches it better. You let her just her said that. Why argue with somebody who has the opposite opinion? I did not know? say that. I did not say any of Basically, that. Why be offended by it? Why be offended? No, no, no. You don't you be offended, offended about it. You, you should offended. argue everything. Yeah, for sure. And we do. There is nothing that you should not argue. I'm just saying you Except are that person nice. that makes the other person with the opposite opinion of you feel ugh. Good! <laughs> I'm not gonna just, I like this. Okay, so listen, if if you and I argue about a lot of things, we do. if you have an opinion on something, mm-hmm. and I have a different opinion, That's and my right. opinion and the way that I convey that opinion is strong enough to put you in a bad place... And that's your opinion to me. No, 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 no just listen. You need to restructure that opinion and fucking change it. And number one, not worry about my opinion. Fuck my opinion. I say that a lot. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. She does. But if you are pointing out the fact that I have the ability to make people feel low because of their difference in opinion from me, 
Those people need to fucking put some shit in their britches and get over it. There is one person on this earth's opinion that you should be concerned about, Jesus. and that is your own. No, God doesn't exist, number one. Let's just move past that. You should worry about you and only your opinion. And I do. Which is why we butt heads a lot. No, but if you say that, then you can't ever say, well, you make people feel low because of how you convey your opinion to other people. They need to fucking get over it and Man, uh, worry only about themselves. Honestly, yeah, you're you're both you both have valid points. You're right, you're right. Uh, Clint says, I love it, Miranda. I've only met you by the small bathroom. And now you're instantly my favorite person in that room. Yes. I love you too. I've shit on Clint for like 15 years. He's still one of my best friends. He is in my fucking circle of friendship. Once you get in that circle, you can't get out. I really, I don't think you necessarily mean, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, that he makes people feel lower, but like, you just scream louder than everyone, yeah. and so we're just like, okay. Like, that's because I said my opinion, my you're just like, Hey, I'm my my is is you. Like, okay, I'm buddy, such I'm a bigger dick than everyone else in the room. Yeah. I, ne- I literally never say that. <laughs> he does. Like, I, 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 I say that my Captain dick is swinging dicks I'm over here. Saying. I know, but like, I agree with, <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with her, the way you're screaming. I mean, yeah, you scream really just, loud. Just no. because you scream the loudest doesn't mean you have the most to say. Or the biggest balls, or penis. And, but okay. I'm, not, well, I'm, not, I'm not saying that about you. I'm just talking about people. No, I, I can attest. Because that's you right. do have a lot to Tyler's say. I can attest. I can attest 100 percent for the fact that I have the smallest dick in the room, but I have the biggest balls. <laughs> it's not the motion. Of of the the there is no one on this earth that intimidates me. There is only. Tyler says he's a very loud person. There is only one thing on this earth <laughs> With that a intimidates very tiny me, penis. and that is bees. His penis is very <laughs> tiny. Bees are the only thing on this earth that intimidates me. Are you allergic me. to them or just I am, afraid? I am uh, highly right. allergic to them. Yeah, okay, then you should be very afraid. Yeah, an- anaphylaxis is a real thing, and I am yeah. terrified of it. Well, to, quote, to quote a very um, famous and amazing comedian. Daniel Tosh. Bees! Bees! They're everywhere! Thank you! <laughs> so, I mean, let's... Let, I Chris mean, Farley. now that we're psychoanalyzing me, let's let's dig into this a little bit deeper. No, let's not psychoanalyze you. I have got a question Hold on. For you. Okay, go ahead. And, Dude, then, I'll, if, and then I'll get to my point. Like what is this like? It's about okay, so your listen. penis and your balls. That's not my penis at all. It's not a question at all. It, is it just about my balls? No, it's about... It, it, I'm all balls and no on. dick, man. Ask my wife. <laughs> so listen. Shower or shower? I'm a, I'm a grower no, for sure, about, but there's still not a whole lot there. It is about CBD oil. Okay. So listen. So Do you rub I just... I, I wish just, I rubbed it on my dick. I just found it out. It would probably grow a little bit. So does everybody familiar with CBD oil? Yeah. yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. It's everything in cannabis yeah. but the THC. Yeah. Okay. So it stops arthritis, helps you sleep. It's yada, the cannabinoids. Yada, yada. Okay. Cannabinoids. All right. There we go. All right. I just found out the other day. We really need a fan in here. Yeah. It's fucking it's toasty. Fucking if we had that Dyson, we'd be You got bottles. a dress on and you're melting. Yeah. I'm I mean, fucking toasty. I can toasty. see you from here. I literally want to wipe the sweat off you and jack off right now. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or rapey. That's rapey as shit. That's, ra- that's a rapey anyway, compliment. But it can so, also be a compliment. It's a very rapey compliment. Yeah, yeah, really. Say like, that, but also I don't like touch me. Rape cast. Rape cast or There's fireball over there. Did you no. not like that? What? I said there's fireball over there. No, I know. I appreciate it. Dude, trust me. I'm a little tipsy as shit. Did you not but like that? No, I loved it. It was good. It was really, really good. I just don't want to go. I have to drive, get my car. You didn't want to drive. You've got to drive to the glory holes. Yes, I have to drive to the local Circle K. I have to drive to the local glory holes is the goddamn correct answer. You're not the local Circle K. I live, K. like, walking distance from that, like, fantasy shop thing. But, but <laughs> here's the thing. Okay, so CBD. Hell yeah. So you're, like, right over here? She's... One uh, of the um, no, there's, there's more than one. Than there's more than there's one. And then there's one like across from Sorella. She drilled the goddamn glory hole, okay? <laughs> my house actually is nicknamed the glory my hole. My house has a <laughs> nice. My house has three holes from the side of it, and when I get crazy, I go simultaneously. <laughs> All right, back on, back on subject. We have a comment. Anyway, okay, hold on. Wait, comment. Comment. We have a comment from comment. Skyler. Uh, did you know they have CBD oil for your pets? Someone called me today trying to get me yes. to buy it. Yes, no, no, yes, no, no. I know. It's I know actually okay. really beneficial. No, okay, so listen. My dog could actually really C- use some. She's sick. I, I, I bet. Who did? 
I said my dog could actually use them. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, it's good for CBD seizures. Oil it's good for arthritis. It's good so for a good. lot of things. I, I fucking use CBD oil on the regular. Straight up. I, I got a bottle a couple weeks ago. Where did I took, you get I took some pills what a couple say? weeks ago. Clint says, Frank needs it. Give in. Buy it all. <laughs> Fuck Frank. And number one, I'm, let's time out real quick. Because this, this has been one of my longest friends forever. He stuck by me even, I mean... Even you, through all your bullshit. You guys have dealt with my fucking, you know... For a year. Uh, how do I want to say it? My uh, personality. Yes, that's, for a, that's the best For a little over a year. Um, I just want everyone around me to be better all the time. And that's, and that's not me being conceited. It's because I have such a low opinion of myself. So I have... I have an extremely low opinion of myself, but I'm extremely intelligent at the same time. Thanks. Bring it in here. Go ahead and get that dick while you're down there. But you uh, make it gay. You had to lift up my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like good God! I had to find your belt. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, I have, I have had since I was a little kid an extremely low opinion of myself, and especially when I worked at Tate and Lyle. I had, uh, it was such a caustic type environment with other people's personalities versus mine. I'm not the go with status quo kind of guy. I find my own way and that's the path that I'm going to take mm-hmm. and right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what I'm doing. Um, you don't always have to take the same route as anybody. No. And I hate it when people just conform and... Well, all the rest of the salmon are swimming upstream to die, so I'm gonna swim upstream and die. I don't, I don't like that mentality. I mean, no, that's not. That's it's terrible. Me. It's I terrible. I don't know anything about salmon. So is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, they all swim upstream, they okay. fuck, and then they die. All right, I'm not being a dick. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I know. Hey, look, this is. But this, consider this Discovery Channel. I just fucking learned something. Yeah, <laughs> but um, so I, I have such an extremely low opinion of myself, but I'm also incredibly intelligent. And those things do not go very well together because I constantly have to justify my intelligence to myself and I constantly have this uh, like idea in the back of my mind that if I teach someone something or help them learn something that that's bettering my opinion of myself, uh, that's a tough place to be in. So that's part of the reason why, well, I don't really agree with your opinion and even if I agree with your opinion, it might not necessarily be right. I'm going to fucking educate you. Because I have a lot of fucking information in this noggin. That's why I like to talk so much. Because I have so much fucking shit. And you seem like, like a very intelligent guy. Thank but you. I will tell you, as a person who is pretty good with people um, and knows people, the last thing that is going to make somebody listen to what you have to say and educate them and where they actually listen is you screaming at them. Oh, because yeah. the second that happens, ears closed, fuck you. Yeah, but if somebody screams at me, I'm going to scream oh, back. Okay. I'm not just going to take it. I mean, well, yeah, absolutely, for I mean, sure. That's, that's why Richard and I were screaming at each other, because he screamed at me <laughs> first. Well, I think that's just kind of who he is. <laughs> don't is tread on me. Like, this is the first time yeah. I met him. Don't fucking like, tread heritage. The first time he walks in, he's just like, blah! Like, he's screaming right, in the yes. microphone constantly. But, but yeah, so... I, I mean, I mean, that's one of my character flaws. I have really good intentions. We and all I have, have really, them, man. I have really poor delivery. I put, yes. I put people down a lot, but it's with the best intentions. <laughs> I put you down out of love. So, <laughs> it, goes back, it goes back to what I said. Be better. Richard just asked me for another beer, and I kind of hesitated because I'm... This fridge is getting really empty. <laughs> there's and, more and there's, beer in the fridge upstairs. You and, and I just really, need to go on a beer run. We do. There's really only the beer I... I don't want to give away. <laughs> I did tell him I have every other Friday that off, is, and I think it's the Friday 4.50 releases their beer. That is awful. That. It's, a beer I, it's the oh, beer yeah. I don't want to give away. Yeah. I want to invite you to the podcast. I want but to I'm not giving you my beer. four Fuck hours you. of your time. Yeah, how long does this usually Good. go on? It's usually we roughly share. two hours. They got it almost Okay, two so hours. wait, 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 wait. I mean, Adam, I don't I have, have, like, a curfew or anything. No, no, no. no. I didn't mean Where she, did she you just get CBD oil? I didn't okay, mean no, to I, hijack I your soapbox. No, I know you didn't. No, 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 listen. <laughs> I've got to talk to you about this. Myself. So, listen. <laughs> so, CBD oil. A fucking beneficial thing to our fucking, our culture. 
amazing. Well, just marijuana I can, in general I, I has can, been a, no, cannabis I, is I love the most. marijuana, but at the same time, I can't use it. So I use CBD. Well, I mean, we need to change uh, that. I bake with CBD. Okay. I use CBD. I Where get baked with CBD. <laughs> just kidding. That's a joke. You don't get baked at all. But here's the thing. Uh, I know someone you can get it from that's like, it's really good. It's but from California. here's the thing. CBT. Not weed. <laughs> so so CBD is just... I'm definitely going to get you it's, up. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> We're going to have some conversations. <laughs> it's amazing. But apparently, they have now started to make CBD hotlines. I'm addicted to CBD. What? Does it get what? you off? A lot of things get me. A lot of things get me. Is this like a <laughs> line? Like that's the direction that Miranda took this it. <laughs> I didn't mean to grab the back of your head. Like Hi. I'm not trying to be rapey. This is Miranda. Hi, this is Richard. What are you wearing right now? I got socks on and some shorts. Tell me more. <laughs> it's like that State Farm commercial from a couple years ago. I'm drinking. Uh, Am I have on khakis? I'm drinking vodka and cranberry chips right now. Yeah, what kind of vodka is it? The cheapest I could buy. Oh, it's McCormick's. <laughs> what was that Dan Cook joke? Work, but where do you work? I work at the Circle K. Oh my God, K. yes. What the where? Fuck? where? Well, I work at the Circle K. It was the drive through Say yeah, it slower. Yeah. I work at the Circle K. Oh! 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 <laughs> What was that Dave oh, Cook? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not what done. What does he say? I'm not I done. Know do you want to know my Do you do you collect whale fare? I do collect whale fare. Whale fare? Whale what the fuck, fuck is whale, whale fare? fare? Hey, we don't talk about do whales on this podcast. Fare? I do. <laughs> Have you ever used EBT? I used I used EBT earlier. Ah! So ah, we're done! We're done! So don't go. charge my credit card! My mom's gonna be pissed! That would be $99.95. So real quick. I'm terrified of ble- uh, bees. Bleeds? Bleeds. Bees. 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 Blaine bleach. is terrified of whales. Like I'm not terrified of whales. Passive aggressively. He fucking hates Dolphins. whales. Okay, so but he Why hates whales hate because whales? he's afraid of them. Dolphins They're useless. Rape each other. You know, They're useless that's animals. Not, I mean, so are a lot of things. All they what? do is control the oh, krill popu- population. What the fuck are you talking about? Whales. Whales. No, whales. Hate fuck something like devils. a mosquito or something. Whales are majestic. They're scary as fuck. Dude. Why? Dude, dude I would rather they're they're the they're the ocean version of you. They're they fucking smarter beach. than you. Four hundred goddamn gallons of semen is why I'm afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> when a sperm whale ejaculates, it's four hundred gallons. You oh know what a five God. a five gallon fucking bucket. Is that okay? be, is that okay, eighty wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. five damn buckets? Is that okay? because if is that how because how many I masturbated three <laughs> times the other day? Okay, how many times do sperm whales get off? I didn't look that up. Is that because you're not equipped to handle what that? If there is a, what if what if there is a fucking sperm whale out there and he is just a goddamn nympho and every hour on the hour he's going to town on himself? I want to know why the ocean's salty. It's because that fucking addict motherfucker right there. (laughs) 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 The Titanic didn't sink. (laughs) He hit a semen iceberg? He hit a semen-filled iceberg. Captain, the engines are clogged and they're filled with salt and something sticky. It looks like what's on Blaine's keyboard. <laughs> okay, 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 hold up, since we're talking about Oh, these. my God. So, well, we were. Um, I opened up my Plenty of Fish account because I have lots of dating apps and mostly for oh, my entertainment. Before this is over, can you just read a conversation? Oh, I can read you so many. Dude, I have how, a, many, I have a whole album how many conversations don't start with this is my dick? Okay, well, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there, but this guy. <laughs> Every just, conversation just, starts with this is my dick. He. Mm, we're worse. Um, Have you ever seen it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is why it stinks. Okay, okay. Here, this wait, is wait, 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 wait. Here, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to do a favor. Do me a favor because I want you to fucking entertain me right now. When you said, whoa, this is worse, I want you to start Take your with the off. worst. Goddamn conversation you've had. The weirdest. I have a worst. fucking album on Facebook. Oh, God damn. Yes, it is. It's it's beautiful. Has anyone ever sent you a picture of their yeah. asshole? Um, I don't. Start with that conversation. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. what, what brought it up is I opened it up because I had a message and this person goes, How you feel about the B movie? <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I'm terrified of it. Personally, <laughs> awful, yeah. awful. 
I have an I'm going up. into an electric shock right now, thank you. That fucking <laughs> bee was not trying to knock the bottom out of that bra. So let's let's just Wasn't take a it sip. Jerry Seinfeld? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Seinfeld that as Jewish a bee. fucking bee. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, before you start that conversation, you would, do, do you wanna know a fucking interesting fact about Seinfeld? What do you think that fucking guy's worth? Just think, what do you Probably think he's worth? Ten mil? Whoa, dude, you ain't even fucking say, close. Way more than that. How much do you think Seinfeld's yeah. worth without looking up? I don't. I would even know because he, I mean, he, he even owns dude, so many s- like classic cars and shit. Dude, you are not I mean, even close. Dude, is, is he close? To Sixty Leno? mil, dude. You are ten times off what he's worth. What? Dude, what I saw when J- Seinfeld was worth the other day, I looked. I was about. He was like. Dude, I got. I looked at my thing. And it was like famous celebrities. You never believe what they're worth. And Jerry Seinfeld popped up. It was like six hundred and twenty-five million dollars. I go, how the fuck is Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> worth six hundred and twenty-five million dollars? Because the first thing that popped in my head, two things. Number one was Seinfeld, and number two was the B movie. Well, you have to remember something. His show has been syndicated. For like 25 plus years at this point. Yeah, True. It's, it's still regularly shows. Now, I mean, they each actor on Seinfeld might only make a fucking quarter every time that episode airs every day. But Seinfeld fucking episodes, like just on TBS, I think, run from like fucking 6.30 in the morning until noon. So... I mean, you fucking couple that over 20 years. I hope Miranda's not in there. Eh. <laughs> She'll survive. I mean, Clint did it. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, while they're out of the room, I'll go back to my spiel while she's prepping her fucking PO- I'm just trying to figure out which fucking ones POF I'm message. These oh, are good. Oh, down goes the microphone. There's oh, so many man. of them. I just have to figure out. There's some, there's some gold. Oh, there's yeah. absolutely and There's a lot. Life. There's so many. I mean, the most album. recent one you showed me was really good. At the vault? Oh, which one was the, that? It was the one you wouldn't post. Okay, let me find that. Where was that? But yeah, That's she is a professional... Fish uh, troll? Troll, like, like dating site dating troll. Sites? Like, she fucks with guys it's so hard. It's a happy. Good for you. Good for you. That was like a fireball shot. Only for your food. Chicken. You got it. So, while well, well, we're prepping for the POF, I knocked shit. your microphone. Do you want fireball? <laughs> if you bring it to me, because then I ask back, you back, back, to, back to my personality. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Like, well, where, where we while we're at? prepping. Well, we're waiting for her to pull up a POF, so I'm going to talk about my personality a little bit more. Because uh, it makes me feel good to talk about it. Because I don't talk about it very much. I'm a very Do you brain- know what it was about? I'm a very... Yeah. I'm a... No, I'm the church. church. No, you... you Your can, address here, was we'll the church. Okay. I, I almost knocked that beer over. Hold on. That's a really, really long one, though. It Let is. me see if I can find a good... Uh, Give out. me a fucking drink of it. You said I could have a drink of it. Yeah, yeah. but Blaine's fucking... I don't even fridge, fucking Blaine's, like it. Blaine's fridge is getting low. Okay. I can read the first part of it, because then it just kind of goes oh, wait, stupid go. after that. Can, uh, I, can I do my little... Yeah, you can. No, I was, I was just talking to him about... While Miranda's shows. getting back. So, like, the way that I interact with people, I have I had to the best of intentions all the time. And I'm the queer looking one. Like, when I That's know I something with the utmost certainty, 100% fact, I'm very strong-willed about it. Like, my bad. if... If someone gears their financial situation to gain a tax return every year, that is the wrong way to do it. That is fact. You should aim for zero dollars earned, zero dollars owed. I agree. You should have no money owed to the government, no money owed to you. That means that you had all of your money during the year, and you did not loan the government any money. How do you do that? Hey, you, How do you get that? We're not, you we're have not, to be yeah. really okay, fucking so picky oh, with your because money. Because I claim oh, zero on oh, everybody in the I've got a really, I've got a really good story. That's part of the problem. I've got a really good story about that. So listen. That means that you're loaning the government money. How else am I going to fucking get away from that? Claim both of your children, number one. No, because then at tax time, when it comes around, there I don't get shit. 
Hold you on. don't want to get anything. You know what? You don't want you're, to help No, me. you I, don't, I, because you're getting a fraction of what you've given to the government. That on. is dumb. Tyler, wait, 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 I have a true story. Listen. You like the tax check. I agree with this one. Dude. Like your money throughout the year, last and you year. won't have that problem. Be more financially responsible. Listen, hold on, wait, last year, last year, I did the same thing. I owed the federal government one dollar. I owed them one dollar. That's how you do it. But, wait, that wait, is wait, the wait, best wait. that you can hope oh, for. I well, got I $93 here, dollars Jesus back Tyler? from the state. That was okay. what I got. That was what my return $98? was. $93. I owed That's reasonable. one dollar. I, I had to literally go write a check to the fucking IRS department here in Lafayette for one dollar. Well, guess what, Richard? You are living up to Tyler's expectations. It's and not my expectations. No. And that's it's ex- good fiscal no. responsibility. No, that's the expectation. Yeah, I right. want to live up it's to It's not my expectations. expectations. It's no, I want to live up to your expectations. What? I didn't listen to a word I want to live up to your expectations. Okay. All right, let's get to something more entertaining, like uh, Alex. Over there. Okay, Alex. And then we'll get back to fiscal responsibility. Nah. <laughs> I love fiscal responsibility. Here's that. Cheers. We can, we can do that on season two. Okay. All right, so, um... I mean, be You awkward. don't control I, me. When, when I'm I say, not a bumblebee. When I say awkward... I don't have to pollinate you. I want your most awkward P.O. Oh, nothing story. is awkward for me. No, no, I know nothing's awkward for you, but I want you to look at the perspective of a normal person's point of view. Okay, real quick, before Do you want you, me to look you deep in the eyes when I, I read I want these? you to stare into my For the God, love of God, if you don't look sense. him in the eye and lick your lips a little bit, I will be disappointed. I want you to stare into my eyes. <laughs> I am satisfied. Okay, real quick, I let me want, a, let me ask you this. From somebody who has been on Tinder luck, before, has been on dating sites before, mm-hmm. would you agree... What? That the female or the recipient of any message holds all of the power no. in anything that moves forward. No. No. No, I mean... Not if your dick's big enough. <laughs> okay, let's let's backtrack a little bit. Let's rewind to the point where I talked about how small my dick is. No, let's talk about... And how that. big my balls are. Oh, okay? Yeah. So let's fast forward again back to where we're at right now. The way that I always looked at it was that the person that I'm contacting, regardless of how I start that initial interaction, the ball is in their court and they have all of the power on how everything goes forward. Yeah, because you're going to think that. Jesus I mean, Christ, honestly, really like, Bumble, women have to say something first, so That's the ball is in the guy's court. So, I mean, yeah. If a converse, I mean, a conversation requires two people. If you don't say exactly. anything back, then it's done. But I always say something back. Like most women ignore these messages. But you know what? No, fuck you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this uncomfortable for you. And that's usually what happens. Like I'm the one with the last thing to say because they're just like, oh, okay. Well, she's not gonna fuck me. No, I'm not gonna fuck you. I'm fucking with you. She's not showing up to suck my dick tonight, even though I fucking ordered a goddamn fucking Pizza Hut pizza with cheese stuff crust. Fuck it. Bitch. I went to Little Caesars and got an extra most bestest, and this bitch isn't gonna suck my dick. <laughs> not saying that you're a bitch. I'm not saying bitch. you won't suck my I dick. I mean, I am a bitch, though, but. Okay, can we get to this? Yeah, yes. let's do it. Let's fucking okay. get it. Let's go balls. Let's so, this is a. Dirty, dirty. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start out with one of my personal favorites. Oh, my um, God. Uh, one I would like no interruptions. No, All right, yeah, uh, no, no interruptions. fucking like, interruptions. Right. If you interrupt. Hey. I'm going to punch you in the You have dick. to start with the screaming, though. <laughs> oh, oh, screaming. oh, always, always. You got it. So, I this is... Silence from my microphone. <clears throat> this is from Lil Swisha 69 Well, spell that real quick. I want to interrupt this so bad. L-I-L-S-W-I-S-H-A-69. All right, wait. White is that a black? six nine? Oh, he's white. Or, okay. I mean, he could be like Hispanic. He, I guess. I don't know. Right, well, look ahead. at his fucking picture. You can see it. Like go ahead. this right, guy. Right, 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 that's a light. Right. That's a light like, skin Hispanic brother. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> I didn't right. interrupt. She so invited. So he, he messages me first, All right. and he says, "Can you sit on my face, please?" And my response is, "Only if it means I don't move until you suffocate." And then he says, LOL, sorry, wrong person. So mean, though. I was being a gentleman, LMAO. I said, yeah, I mean, you did say please and all. You're super polite. And he uh, put LMAO three times, just to get his point across. Um, Well, since you such a meanie, deal's off. I said, deal was off already. Wrong person, remember? And he said, well, since I can't put my stormtrooper in your pooper, then I guess so. (laughs) And I said, stormtroopers have terrible aim anyway. 
And that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> oh, damn, Richard. So there's there's that one. That's a personal. Next. Personal favorite. I, I can't put my stormtrooper in your face. <laughs> right? I was like, I, I laughed at that. I was like, okay, that's I'm pretty sorry. fucking funny. I'm sorry. That guy may be an asshole, but he's a true nerd at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, but my, yeah. my, my stormtrooper is a trooper. I am, <laughs> what the fuck? I am so going to use it on my wife's side. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't want anal? I can't put my stormtrooper in your paper. I know, baby. I deals off of going to sleep. Can I put my stormtrooper in your paper? <laughs> I am not going to use that one because I'm not down with the brow. <laughs> no, you're not. We know you're not. I got it. Give me another one. Okay. That was too I'm good. That was your bad dude. On. That was fucking great. I can't put my stormtrooper in your paper. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use it on someone. I'll be at the bar one night drinking, and you know what I'm thinking. So. <laughs> It's rolling all night. Um, it's rolling all night. Oh, come on. I'm a lesbian seagull. <laughs> As I fly through the air. Okay, I like this one. It was Bumble, so girls have to say something first. So okay. I said, Hi there. And he said, I kid you not, the only thing he says to me is head. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh! <laughs> Don't leave me hanging here. Oh, God uh, damn. Oh, I know you do. Uh, okay, so I'm a, I'm a nerd and I really like dinosaurs. I have a dinosaur tattoo. Fuck and yeah. on my thing, What's your favorite dinosaur? Pachycephalosaurus. Fuck yeah! I have no idea what that is, but I like the T-Rex. It's the one that headbutts shit. Hard, I mean, that's, that's what I got right here, but yes. So the, you're like the first fucking person who knows what Pachycephalosaurus Whoa! Chicks in wheelchairs home. You know why? 
Because I would love to hear you know, say no a second time. <laughs> go ahead, say no. Say no. You want to go home? <laughs> Your wheelchair's down the street, bro. Uh, I get it. <laughs> and he's rapey again. Oh my I'm god! So surprised. It's not it's never not rapey. I know. <laughs> it's just I'm getting used to it. It's a new dynamic. Okay. Um, so I like this one. This is one of the earlier ones. I love um, this. This was like eight days. You might pick both of us. Eight oh, days Jesus. after I got my Plenty of Fish account. Like, okay. After I broke up with my fiance. Um, this is beautiful. And he says. A tragedy and fucking hilarious. It was not tragedy, believe me. Um, he says, you like 10 inch D? I said, and his yeah. picture is just like his real fit body. And I'm like, I don't know. You look pretty fit to be hitting on a fat girl. And he said, love thick as long as you suck. I said, also not showing your face seems kind of sketchy. And he said, no, on Snap, though, I will. I said, mm -hmm, yeah, like, no, I'm, I'm not into it. And he says, you suck and swallow. I said, I'll suck your soul out. I'm actually a witch. And he said, oh, yeah, I guess you're not interested in D. I said, D, like donuts? Because I'm all about a long jaw. <laughs> <laughs> still watching. He yes. says, what's up? You're so good looking. I said, so are you. Oh, wait, that's an old woman meme. My mistake. He said, LOL, what's up? I was like, okay, let's see where this goes. Getting my hair done. How's the popsicle tasting? He said, want to find out? LOL. I said, not hungry, just ate, thanks. He said, nobody said anything about swallowing anything. I said, also, my jaw is wired shut. He said, I got snips. I said, the doctor says that I must keep it on for a month or else the jaw will never work right again. He said, you could try holding the popsicle in your hands. I said, see, your mistake is you assume I have hands. It was a really horrendous accident. He said, so what am I supposed to do with it? Maybe I could taste your taco. <laughs> um, I said, just make a $100 donation to my GoFundMe page. He said, will you be cured then? I said, no, but every cent helps and goes to a good cause. I donated um, what I don't need to the Fuck Boys Without a Clue Foundation. Nice. He, said, what, he said, what do I get? I said, so really in the, in the end, it goes back to you. So, and then he didn't say anything else to me. Nice. <laughs> Fucking savage. Out for blood. Absolutely. We love. play for blood. Jesus Christ, I like this girl. So this guy. Keep it in your pants, Lonely Richard. Lonely Maybe TC guy. Oh. Mm. You don't watch them? Mm. You're getting Tyler all kinds of freaky tonight. Get out of my ear, you fuck. Oh, yeah. Wet. I'll fucking beat your Make ass. Make sure it's wet and it's dry. I think that they're going to fuck over there. They're so, going to fuck. Tyler. I'm going to look at you while hey, I breathe. You, where, you said it's not gay. If you where are your children? Not. <laughs> where, where are your children? At my parents. Good. We're going upstairs right now to the spare bedroom. Good night, podcast. Hell we no. love you. Richard's gonna go down. Good <laughs> God! I'm, no, I'm being raped. I'm gonna. Yes, you are. Guess where Barbie's going tonight? Yes, yes you are. I'm not gonna tell you that you're not not being raped. You're about you're to get not some. not. Uh, this guy, lonely like TC Barbie guy, Barbie? says, "Let's see if the rug matches the drapes." I said, "Well, first off, you couldn't tell from my profile picture." My hair is currently purple and pink, so that would be very unlikely. <laughs> Second off, ew. You can do a lot with Tristan. I thought you asked me that before. Tristan's the drug match to the drinks. Oh, this so one, fucking, this one. I so love fucking be now so soon. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck his screen name even says, honestly. He <laughs> messages me and he goes, hey, who got weed for sale? I need two grams. I'll pick up. Meat or they can deliver. 
I said, do I fucking look like a drug dealer? Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh, and sometimes when I... Does that got fucking CBD in it? <laughs> Damn it, I don't want that. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm gonna beat your ass. Get that vape shit out of your hands. Oh, oh God. Good God, she's fucking <laughs> cooking it before explode. it even gets over here. It's nuts. <laughs>
Uh, do you want to pull him out when he's not around? All right, come on. <laughs> you are such a scumbag. I am so. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, here's the thing. I don't care how much of a scumbag I am, because I go home to my old lady, and my old lady goes, "Hey." After I he's know, into the glory hole. He's dirt. Stop. Oh shit! I might visit there. <laughs> that might last longer. You should just own. You should just open one. <laughs> the glory hole. <laughs> Charge people like rent. Oh my god! Okay, honestly, I think I might tag my house, like name Does, my house that now. Do we? Have, I said that that's what I call my house. Do you so. Think about it. Does anyone have like, any money to check invest? At the glory hole. Okay, I'll give, no. I'll give you seventy-five dollars. We could buy the Biltmore. We could buy the Biltmore and turn it into the glory hole. People <laughs> be like, hey, anyone want to have the glory hole? I'd be like, yeah, I fucking love that place. <laughs> Tyler uh, works Monday. I'm really good at I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about it, but walking in the bathroom kind of <laughs> gets things going. Get off my backpack, you Did you fuck. unzip? You your your pants. pants are unzipped. I have long pants. Hey, he mine, needs mine service. Up. I have long performance. All right, guys. If we do this, let's hear this story. Oh yeah, I forgot. I let's hear this me. conversation. All right, so this guy, no this is on Bumble. So I say something first. Wait, Bumble? Bumble. Bumble. Oh, like Bumble. like bees. Oh, are you scared? <laughs> oh, terrified? Are you right now? He's terrified. So I say. Give him mouth to mouth. No, no. Give me dick to mouth. Oh. No mouth. We're taking his good. mouth. <laughs> he grabbed my mullet. We're pissing dick off. Let's Come All right, on. go ahead, sir. <laughs> Dick is <What>? ready. Okay. Dick um. is ready. <laughs> Knees weak. Dick is ready. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Oh my God, that sounds like an Eminem <laughs> yeah. song. If Eminem were on, that's the 30% I love. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody still tuning into this? We Us? have one person, and it's probably either Skyler or Clint. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. Start for the All right, so I say hi there, because that's usually what I say, because why the fuck What not? was his opening response? Sup, shawty. You ever consider throwing that ass in a circle for a playa one time, darling? He goes so, from <laughs> thug to Darwin. Yeah. He wears Air Force and, Ones with a in, cowboy hat. In hindsight, <laughs> in hindsight, I was like, fuck, I missed the perfect opportunity for a it's joke. It's Skyler. Because I really <laughs> wanted to say, after it was all said and done, like, I, I throw that ass in a prayer circle because I went this way with it. Um, I said, not quite sure how one throws that ass in a circle. I can do the hokey pokey, though. And he said, oh, babe, your innocence gets me rock hard. Do you want to breed later? And I said, only if we do breed. it. Breed? Do you want to breed? I he said, said breed later. Breed later. I said, only if we do it missionary style. He said, why is that, hun? I said, I mean, it's the Lord's position. <laughs> <laughs> she's not wrong, folks. No, she's, she's not, not wrong. I know she is correct. And he said, "Yeah, that'll probably be best. I don't want you on top of me, and I can't pull your hair and doggy. So we gon' fuck like animals in the Lord's position, sweetie pie." I said, "I'm gonna go pray on it." He said, "I'm gonna pray you don't get pregnant after I paint your inner walls white, babe." Oh, damn. No, <laughs> no way. Let me see this guy. It keeps going. Who is this guy? I love this guy. Already. It keeps going. I know. Look, there's look, so look, much. He's more. gonna whitewash the bridge. You're gonna have to chill because right, this is all right. a little. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Let, 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 let her go. I'm gonna tilt my mic. I'm gonna go silent. Okay. I'm going rogue. Go ahead. I said, yeah, abortions are against his will, or so they say. And he said, anal is nature's contraceptive, or so they say. That's, that's Catholicism contraceptive. And I said, I said, and it allows you to remain a virgin in the eyes of Jesus. And he said, yo, imagine coming in the eye of Jesus and stomping on his foot, angry pirate Jesus. <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't know, but it's I was like, having so much fun. Why, like, did you, why did you not go out with this oh guy? Oh my god, this <laughs> man is worthy. This is he my, is deemed worthy. That's my Tyler, twin goddamn weird. brother. Accept it. <laughs> that is my twin oh brother. Oh my god, I knew you'd like this. Oh one. my god, if my dad fucking heard this conversation, be like, hey, I know I fucked a chick a while back. <laughs> Do not tell your mom. <laughs> Continue. I said he'd just heal himself. I mean, he's Jesus. And he said, ever squirt and hit the ceiling, babe? Asking for a friend. I said, oh, yeah, my nickname's Old Faithful. <laughs> and he said, ever fill up a bucket? Am I going to have to bring a tarp to put down? I said, a kiddie pool, actually. Don't worry. No kids were present. <laughs> Um, he said, ever, Thank you for that, also. 
<laughs> he said, ever been fisted? I want to walk around with you on my arm like a puppet, darling. <laughs> I, said, I, would, I, would, I said, I would like you to punch me in the heart, but from the inside. <laughs> oh my God. This guy, this girl, perfect couple. Why the fuck? Dude, you need to get this guy on podcast for me sometime. He says... I'm going to fuck your shithole and reach into your cunt and jerk myself off in there with a bunch of heart smiley faces. Fuck. We need to meet this guy. What is his fucking username? Richard, stop denying. There's no username. His first name is Shut Bill, up. I, I literally know. thought for a he second it might be me. <laughs> Shit, was that me that night? I said that is the most fucked up thing I've heard in a minute. And I was just laughing hysterically. He said, but punching a heart from the inside wasn't okay. I, I said, no, I never said that. No, no. He said, yeah, you did. And for that, I'm going to grab Ooh. you by the ears and force fuck your throat and use your tears for lube. And I said, Ooh, there's better no... Better than sweat. I said, there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> Who is this guy? Shit. Who is this guy? He said, I'm getting both my balls in that mouth, too, while my dick is in your throat, and every time I feel teeth, I'm going to stomp your toes. <laughs> I like this guy's fucking what? style. Why did you not respond? I said, good thing I can unhinge my jaw, I'm actually a snake. Are you a fucking boa constrictor? <laughs> Are, you a Are you a goddamn viper? <laughs> he said, you're going to have to, to be honest. I mean... And I said, I mean, yeah, logistically speaking, I would have to. He said, maybe we got off on the wrong foot here. Want to just sit on my face and geyser squirt in my mouth instead? Maybe reach behind and jerk me off real quick. And I can spray out down your knuckles and you can lick it off like frosting. <laughs> what Jesus. the fuck? I said, you're a romantic. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That was just a, uh, yeah. 
That guy is who we all aspire to be. Fuck me, dude. Do we? Every one of us. Do we, though? You can't fucking tell me I'm wrong, Blaine. No, I mean, from a comedic wrong. standpoint, yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying! Yeah, throw one out of her, reach in your soul, and jack off in your ass. I'm gonna get <laughs> I don't someone. think that's what she said, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> we put our own spin on it, you son of a bitch! It's a I'm cover. Fucking, I'm sweating after all this talk. Getting all fucking hot. Careful, you get him fucking wound up. Hey, I think I think we need to be uh, ending this. You don't fucking tell us our business. So let me ask you a question, real quick, it. Tyler. All right. If my dick, was and, I said, and I said, hey, hey, who's ever on the end of this glory hole? It's Richard. Went through the glory hole. Would you put my dick in your mouth? No. But would you try to push back on me? No. 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 My, okay, so real quick. So if you knew it was me on the other end, you wouldn't put your dick through? No, 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 no. So I, I've told What if I sucked your dick better than anyone else? Well, if I didn't know it was you, then I would put my dick through the hole. But, but if, what the, if, what if, like, the you, moment I knew that you're, what you if, were on the other question, side, I would leave and probably end myself. If you blew your load, I was like, my name's Richard Holden. Would you leave ashamed? Yes. <laughs> so my dad, when I was like 13 years old, Molest. This is a molestation. No, 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 no. no. This, this is a sex talk story. My dad, when I was about 13 years old, walked into the room that I was in. I was in Europe with him at the time. He walks in the room and he says, Hey, you're going to start fucking soon. Better wear a fucking condom because I'm not changing any diapers. Then he fucking walked out of the room. Okay, that was my sex talk. Solid. And about two days later, he comes back. I'm in the same room again, and he goes, hey, you know how you really know if you're gay or not? <laughs> <laughs> and I just looked at him, and he goes, you push back. And then he fucking walked out of the room. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Wow. So my dad literally walks into a room, fucking lays down some wisdom, fucking mic drops. Two days later, walks back into the same room, fucking lays down more wisdom, Fucking mic drops and then just leaves and I'm just there like, what? What the fuck just happened? My <laughs> sex talk from my mom was, oh my god, doesn't it hurt? What? Yes, yes. So after my first time. Fucking high five right there. <laughs> she goes, oh my god, doesn't it hurt? And I was like. No. I got a sex talk in kindergarten. That was my sex. What? Because, but, but there's a reason. When I was in kindergarten. I, my mom babysat a, a couple other kids, and one of the girls, she had, like, a kindergarten boyfriend or whatever, and so she was, like, writing him a note, and I was like, tell him you want to have sex with him, because I had heard it, like, on one of her talk shows, just, but, like, what the people fuck? who are in you love have sex, Ellen right? That, you that young. What? Did you hung out with Ellen DeGeneres at that yard? She wasn't around at that point. It's probably like fucking Oprah or something. She was probably. But I, mom would have been watching it, and I just was very. Sally, I was very. Ariel. I was very receptive at the age of like five or six, and I so. Love that word. Say it again. Receptive. Oh, oh good God. <laughs> Say it one more time, but really pronounce those fucking. Receptive. Hit every syllable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, My sex talk. No, uh, I, I it's didn't. Not your sex talk. It's her sex talk. Shut up. Oh, yeah, but anyway, um, so she went home, and her mom saw the note and called my mom, like, okay, what's going on here? Why is my daughter writing this and saying that your daughter told her to say it? And so mom came to talk to me and was like, what's this all about? And I was like, cried. I was like, I don't know. I heard it on your, one of your shows. And she had to tell me more about it to, you know, give me a, I mean, it was a very, you, you got know, the full sit down. Yeah, she was like, well, penises go on vaginas. No, she was like, when people love each other, and but you don't do that till you're an adult. And I'm like... Babies end up in the bellies. But if women love each other, they do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Scissor me, Xerxes. <laughs> hey, you know so, what this is? Hold on, hold on. You know what this is? Star Trek. You know what this is? Two girls that love, really like Star Trek. <laughs> so, so when I was in, like, seventh grade, like, right before I got laid... Oh, Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I got any more abruptly. I was really You're early. You're a goddamn caveman. I was I was really early. Lots of testosterone. Jesus. But uh, I came early. So I. <laughs> well, yeah. I fucking I was writing notes back and forth with a girl, and I fucking 
heard on like South Park or something. <laughs> of course. Awesome. <laughs> like, South Park is this fucking like term. Spot. This term for jacking off or a hand job, like stroking the gecko. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I fucking told this girl that I wanted her to stroke my gecko. Oh my god! And she fucking said back that she was gonna stroke my gecko. Oh. And her fucking dad found the note. Oh, shit. <laughs> my fucking that dad. guy fucking came to my house, and I was living with my aunt at the time. She wouldn't let me go outside, but this motherfucker stood outside of my house for like two and a half hours. No way. Wanted He's me to come outside. He was gonna fucking beat a thirteen-year-old to death. <laughs> and when and when your daughter is thirteen, if that happens, right? Maybe that's yeah. Right. But, how, <laughs> but before I had kids, you know, I think yeah. about that every now and then. Like, how fucked up is that? You're gonna beat a thirteen-year-old kid to death. But now I understand. You're like, like, okay, yeah, well, I see his point. It. Yeah, now I understand. <laughs> like, okay. Puts my daughter to stroke yeah, his gecko. Like, I don't even get it. I, well, you gotta remember. That, you gotta remember. They have a class pet. They have a class pet. Are you guys right herpetologists? Like, you gotta remember, we're fucking old people now. So, like, that's yeah. not even terminology. Okay, that's I'm used. not fucking I want, any old people. I want we are say. old people. Yeah, Alex, yeah. I'm did sorry. You not, did you not hear me? I, want I said I'm not fucking any old people. Oh, okay. stroke my, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to stroke my chameleon. But when your dad walks in the room, I want, I, want you to hold, I want you to hold your hand there. That way, it blends in. Like, where's your arm? I don't know. Oh God. <laughs> Camouflage. Stroke my gecko! He's coming! Since we're talking about weird shit, how young were you when you started masturbating? Oh, dude, I was 12. Uh, younger than that. I 11. was young. I was okay. about, I was okay. about okay. 11. Okay, okay, then you need to Blaine, look at me. I just realized why you married Not this you, woman. Was I was like masturbating to like pillows, like homing pillows and like... Wait, how, how old? Water. How old? How old? Watch that shit on no, porn. No, but like Why? how old? Because I need to know. Oh shit! I need to know because I was. This is like back in the time when like when, I mean, dial up internet was available. I know. I was like. Yeah. I Holy was, fuck! Yeah. Dial up internet. Dial up Worst internet. Worst goddamn thing in the world. No. I would download. Hey, porn I used to go to fucking Playboy.com and jack off to still up. images. Oh yes. my god, JPGs. Are, that was JPEGs, 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 JPEGs. I still JPEGs. have I still have it because it was so oh important God. to me. I have fucking porn on floppy disk. Oh, oh my God. God. What the fuck? That is floppy weird as shit. That, that was back in the day. Are you fucking serious? That's fucking legend worthy. I, I still like, have porn on floppy disk. There was like, you you show, you 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 show me a floppy disk. <laughs> but I have it. <laughs> you show me a floppy disk. You show me a floppy disk with porn worthy jack worth quality jack and I would fuck her jack off. Jack, jack, no, wait a minute. Jack Are we talking Worthington. wet jack or dry jack? Because it's not dry <laughs> jack sweat worthy. Jack. But sweat it is sweat, sweat jack. jack worthy. Sweat it's good jack. quality sweat stuff. Jack for sure. There was no free porn yeah, back then. You fucking opened open the door for this, you son I of a bitch. Never. All right. There was no free <laughs> porn. Bye, guys. We <laughs> love you. Hold no. on, we have to finish. We're there still was talking. No, no free porn. we do not there finish no the floppy disk. There was no free porn. That was like that shit. You click on this link like, oh, that looks good. No, shit. I'm sure you can use it. That is why I'm just you. I'm stealing my brother's house. You know house you're house. a sex addict when you're stealing the AOL disk so you can masturbate two days hey, later. Hey, I fucking, I, I took net zero, yes. you fuck. I will admit it. Hey, I don't even way. know what I was doing. I was just doing it. Like <laughs> I was humping my pillow. But like, you were a fucking professional. No, I'm gonna fuck this shit out of this pillow. No, seriously. I and actually, I looked it up. It me. actually is fairly common. Me. Yeah. So. Me. Because I thought it was. Are weird. you a fucking goat? <laughs> Get this. If I need to know what is wrong with you. Let's listen to Miranda here. I used to hang from my monkey bars and could orgasm that way. Just hanging from my monkey bars. What? Yes! What? Okay, but tell me how you were so hanging. Weird. I'm very confused. Like hanging like, <laughs> with my legs up in I the air. I feel like, I feel like if Alex, if Alex dies tonight because she broke her neck, we'll know we'll what you told her. Okay, well, like, I have <laughs> monkey bars. I'm a goddamn no. adult, thank you. No. I have yeah. many other things. Alright, well, so like, I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> woman, woman, woman found dead. 29 year old female woman. Semen. Hanging from the monkey bars. Which is 90% pissed. <laughs> she crumbled under the weight of her own body. I don't know. I just hang from the monkey Due bars. Due to exhaustion, her arms just gave out. 
<laughs> Honestly, she couldn't even hold herself up to begin with. Good God. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember one time oh, I was shit. humping my bed, and my dad came upstairs, <laughs> and he's like, what's that noise? <laughs> Nothing. I I just, I just, wait, 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 wait. I I just, just I'm just situating. I, I feel like I missed out on so much at 10 years old right now. I, I feel like we, 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 we were younger than that's what we're saying. We, we were, were best friends. Than I'm like, hump to bed. We were just let me sit here. Ten. Like, hump to bed. Let me sit here. Let me just watch you. Mom, I'm taking a bath I know your parents. I know your parents think these sleepovers are odd, but it's okay. Go ahead and do what you're doing. <laughs> oh I'm going to piss my pants. <laughs> Mom, I'm taking a bath tonight. Leave me alone. I'm going to need a little this. bubble bath. The bath faucet. How how long? <laughs> like, like spread your legs. anything with any amount of pressure. You spread your legs on the bath faucet. <laughs> to the to the other the other You're man in so the room. You're so much about your fiance. How right long now. did you he figure out that shampoo? How long did it take you to figure out that shampoo is not no, the right lube? No, uh, it's usually the first time. You use shampoo. Oh, do you get the first time? It's the worst. Dick hole? It's the worst. It's over. I would rather you. I powered it. through it. <laughs> it was about. It was about five times consecutively, and my fucking dick skin started to flake off, and I was like, okay. When did this, you this guys is when learn? I need to reevaluate this. What was the question? When did you guys learn you like the same sex? What? What? Never. <laughs> is that a trick question? It was. <laughs> she tried to fucking, she tried to bait oh, us. No. I was pretty that, For him, it's that night. That, to be honest with at you, I learned at Checkers a couple months ago. I was going to say, it was that night at the bar. <laughs> I was going. And see, he's done. done. <laughs> and we're out. I started, I started jacking off at 11, and I got laid at 14. So. 11 for me. Late at mine was like 19. Four, like 21 Like Mine was you. like 4 or 5, and mine was 19 too, man. I started masturbating really young, and I got fucked at 16. I got fucked. <laughs> fucked at 16. I didn't lose my virginity. I got fucked. I, I lost my Virginia. Or my Virginia. <laughs> I lost my Virginia uh, well, swims. When you, when you hear what I'm about uh, to say, it'll it. make sense. I lost my virginity in West Virginia. Did you? That's Some what, Russian chicks, right? What? The Russian chicks. The right? Russian chicks, yeah. yeah. That's hey. why... Uh, fucking Country Roads by John Country Denver. Road. I was curious Fucking holds that. such a special place in my heart. Because it brings... I, I never made that connection. It brings me back to the time when some fucking 17-year-old girl literally wolverined my back to the point where I possibly could have bled to death. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I walked in on a girl wolverining your back. Okay, so, I, so. I started jacking off at 11. That's such a late age, I feel like. And I lost... I was really young. I was 11 when yeah, I started. We I lost my virginity at God early. damn, a late age? That's a late age. That's what you scream I says? fucking did my best to knock the bottom out of some Russian foreign exchange student when I was 14 years old. How did that work? Well, I didn't finish. You have a tiny dick. I have a tiny <gasps> dick, but it was proportional to my body at the time. At the time. At the time. <laughs> no, no. At the time, it looks like how a... How many times we've talked about um, masturbation during this whole It looks thing? like it's a little thing. smoky. Okay, well, right, right. I mean, I've Like, you know the, he the fucking the acreage the little smokies? Thing. We're talking what my about dick looks stuff like. Speaking while. of not finishing... I mean, not we, I wasn't here. The very I was first commenting. time him and I had sex, he didn't finish. And I felt so weird. You're a fucking... I was like, oh my Plebeian. god, this is It's typical normal. for my first time with a person. Plebeian. I was so like, no, this isn't me. Fuck I no. finished. Like, I'm the first good. time with a person, I'm knocking the bottom out of that shit for like three minutes. And I'm I like, wanted to cry myself to Wow, sleep. that was uh, great. I, I'm, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to say the same I thing there. Cry. If I'm fucking a chick and I last more than five minutes, I'm just like... <sighs> is that because you're... Fuck, like, oh, oh, fuck oh. I am going into fucking arrest right now. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. If you're not coming, if you're not coming, we won't be together next week. We won't be together next week. Don't ever. call me again no, because I don't want to die. Jesus fucking Christ. He didn't, he didn't come. He didn't come. It's, it's fucking, it's weird, weird for a dude. Like, when you lose I your virginity, like, sorry, I have endurance. I had a fly land on my penis yes. one time and I thought I was going to have to Shut Okay, up. wait a minute. Real quick, fucking... Uh, how do I want to look at it? Fucking passive aggressive fucking Forrest insult Go. man over there. Forrest Go. There's two people in the this room that have had sex with ten times the amount of people that you have, ten and that's times. him, okay. and that's me. me. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't assume. Hold me. on, wait a minute. I'm talking just to. Wait a minute. Right whoa! This just got real. 
Wow. Hold on a second. I'm just, hold on a I'm second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have more sex than women than you have, Tyler. Whoa. Wait a minute. Let's cool. talk about you this. win an award. Let me pull a gold star out of my pocket. Hold on. I'm talking to Tyler. Tyler, wait a minute. <laughs> this just got interesting as fuck. Okay, go on. You literally said you and me have had sex with ten times more people than him. Than anyone other than him. And then she Both of and them. she Both of them. at the same goddamn time. Like, wait up, let's so wait you're, the you're fuck! You fucking assume anything. Don't you, you fucking tell me how many dicks I have or haven't <laughs> sucked! Dick Let me tell you something. Was? Last weekend when I was blackout fucking drunk and I was down at the red, red box, box. <laughs> there were seven guys <laughs> and I blew them before I told them I was gonna return the Infinity Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tyler. I was strictly pointing out testosterone. Oh, okay. Because Blaine, testosterone. Blaine is testosterone right now. Mr. Lose Your Virginity at 19. Um, you can take your endurance and shove it right up your storm pooper. Because old Rollo and I over here have eclipsed you tenfold. I lost my virginities when really I worked at Marcos because you was touching the quality, sausage and I didn't quality. know what to do with myself. <laughs> she, was making a, she was making a triple I sausage to me quality. pizza and I injected it okay, in my Wait pants. a minute. Now you passive aggressively insulting me. You can talk about his quality all day, but you don't know what old dad cooked up in back in the day. Oh, back in the Whoa, day. My fucking back quality? The Who's talking about my quality? I fucking say quality over quantity. Gas station attendants and drive through work. Let me tell you what. I me, had more women than you, Richard. Let me tell you what. That's great. You've been with more women. But I will tell you what. You've been Co with more dudes than me. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I will tell you what. Cocaine will make you fucking last. Beyond infinity. All right, I buzz goddamn light here. I snore a couple of lights and I am just going to fucking pound town. Here comes Woody, bitch. What is that? Here comes Woody. Wait, I thought you were Buzz Lightyear, not What's Woody. What's the longest? Yeah, exactly. What's, What's the, the longest? longest? Hey, Buzz Lightyear and Woody are two fucking and a half oh, hours. Oh, me too. Oh. Yeah, me too. Without cocaine. Hey, Blaine. You, you fucking shut dry the fuck jack. Up. You, you dry. might as well masturbate with razor blades. You sick fuck! Good God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Watch well, put some sandpaper in that hand and go to town on yourself! I live in a van down by the river! I knew you were gonna do Christmas. He just got some sandpaper. Oh fuck! Well, he just got some sandpaper. He I am going to oh, get you. He did to finish himself off. There's the spit again. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And take that sandpaper and rub it across your stink star! <laughs> <laughs> Give it the old abrasive rub! Here we go! I would stick my head up a cow's ass, but I'd rather take the butcher! <laughs> Word for it! Jesus fuck. I'm sweating! I'm laughing so hard, Jesus I'm fuck. sweating! I've been sweating for 25 fucking minutes! I've been sweating since I was reading my dating app shit! I've been sweating listen, since we started this shit! Listen, you goddamn fucking peasant! Dry jack all you want! Alright? Because apparently, dry jacking allows you to make two and a half hours of love! I need about four minutes of your time! <laughs> Skylar's was like, why is everyone screaming? <laughs> oh, I gotta stand up. And I am good! Because everybody's All right, Richard, when I'm... stop staring at Tyler's ass! She's staring at the old thing <sighs> star. When I'm done, I'm done! If you're not satisfied, that's not Daddy's problem! Daddy won the race! Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let's call Daddy it. issues. Not to get off topic, Daddy right issues. Now, but Daddy for issues for the room. Daddy let's, issues. Let's just see. I don't daddy want to get into debate. I just want to see. Really, daddy? How many people have said Daddy issues? I just want to see a show of hands. How many people think it's fucking weird when a woman calls a man Daddy during sex? Old Dad, right here. That's that's two. <laughs> 
All right, fuck off, Blake. Okay, you yeah, either yeah. say yes no, no, or honestly, no. Honestly, I'm kind of there too. Cause no, I'm not kind of there. To be I fair, mean, it's never happened. How many so I don't people know. find it hot it's when a woman daddy. calls a man daddy during sex? You have daughters, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck my kids when it comes to my sex. I deliver myself. You said that earlier in the segment. This is what he does. Fuck you. Time. You said I have got to take. <laughs> You've got to take time for you and your spouse. If I want my spouse to call me daddy, and that's you what does it for me, daddy. she will call me daddy. Oh, come inside me, daddy. Oh, oh fuck me harder, God. daddy. Oh, put it deeper, daddy. daddy that's I, fucking weird. Daddy, hey, I want to stick my finger in your ass. Hey, daddy, I want to lick your butt. Hey, daddy, stink I want to suck your nuts. Stink star. Stink star. Stink no. Star. What did he say earlier in the segment? You have got to take time for yourself. Or it will not work in your marriage. What did he say? And I mean, did he or did? If I, I said it. Did I said you? it. Exactly. So call me fucking daddy. Call me daddy. You walk in with a fucking giant dick and you want to peg me. Be like, daddy, you want this? Yes, daddy wants it. Yes, daddy wants it. But come here, let me lick it a little bit. Oh my head. god. <laughs> let me get that wet because it's going to hurt because I don't I'm, like it dry. I'm really glad I know CPR because I think you're about to stroke uh, I'm going to have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> All right. Oh, so okay. I'm going to bring it in real quick. Enough of the daddy stuff. No, the daddy shit's hot as fuck. Golden shower. Call me daddy. daddy. No, Call me. No, hey, kids. I'll tell you what. No shit. Are you swimming in here? Home. Shut up, we're Blaine. Getting, we're Shut getting up. Late. Daddy's talking. Listen, <laughs> call me daddy before you end this show. And stare me in my soul when you say it. <laughs> hey, daddy, have you had enough? That's what I want you to say to me. Oh, I want to go home. Hey, hands and knees now, Shut bitch. Shut the fuck up. All right, perfect. I like it. I'll handle that. Daddy, have you had enough? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just go Christian Bale, Batman voice? Oh, my God. What is wrong with Can you? Can I do that? Can I do that real quick? Oh, yeah. yeah. This we're up a bit. Late. Yeah, late. we're almost at three hours. I, mean, I know, we're almost at three late. hours. We do have one thing we need to discuss. Okay, go on. Dad Next issues. week is our official yes. first episode. Yeah. Brand new episode on the new feed. We did it! Wolverine. Which you can go ahead and subscribe to. <laughs> Podcastrophy on Podbean. We did it. We did it. We did it. Well, uh, he mostly did it. Yeah, I did a lot. Of I just weekend. act really dumb. Uh, Podcastrophy is <laughs> officially on Podbean, so go it's subscribe. Kind of control over there. It is, it's wild. Go subscribe to Podcastrophy on Podbean. We have a YouTube Fireball. Podcastrophy podcast on YouTube. We get, we're gonna put everything up there, probably a couple days after the live stream. Sorry, so no we'll arm see it there. We can share this arm space. <laughs> You'll see that there. Share my shoulder uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more content from us. We don't know what that content is, but it's gonna be there. Rolo's gonna be there. Yeah, Rolo's gonna be there. Come back oh, next season. And I won't pitch you. This is the season finale, technically, of Podcast Defeat. Please, please, please. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fucking special. crazy. <laughs> yes. We talked about everything. We had arguments. Like this. We, had a... holes. Daddy, we had arguments. We had glory holes. Daddy. We had daddy issues. Miranda called me daddy, which there was, was really a lot of weird. dollars. There was a lot of dollars that could have been thrown. He pinched my arm and he said, call me daddy. Oh, Tyler, I, I said, call me daddy and I'll stop. And what is that? Call me uncle? What is it? Call me uncle? Uncle Diddles. Call me uncle. <laughs> oh my god, you said it so seductively. Oh my god. Okay, no. so yeah, I, I, I peed. I have one of those sex talk voices.
voices. I have a voice I do that is that. Oh, so. shit. I call the 1 800 number. I'm Brandy, just like, you just find your you podcast know. host. Hey, does anyone well, remember? Does, maybe. Hey, does anyone remember when I said, hey, I know this girl? <laughs> It's That's a 1-800 number I called one time when I was lonely. Oh. <laughs> Wait, aren't you always lonely? Did... <laughs> always. Aren't you always on the sex doc line? I know. It's, 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 just, it's just, I was like, hey, You were like you. a fucking furnace. I, Good God. I realized it. I called you one time and you were like, hey. That's what happens when I call you daddy. I was like, simmer down or whatever. What are you? Hey, she's a strong independent woman who don't need no man. Your partner is touching me. You're reading a book? Oh, yeah. I'm reading a book. About to flip Don't the page. Don't make me take these hoops off. Do what? There's too much About going to on right now. Page. Start another He's just chapter. going on over there. <laughs> She's yeah. listening. We're having a moment. Thank Check us out for the listening. next couple episodes on the Journey into Comics Network as we venture off into our own feed. Yeah. Check out Rolo Destroyer on Instagram. Yeah. Everybody uh, tweet the feed. Do you think Nate wants me to say something about my podcast? No. No. You have a podcast? We don't it's know yet. It's a secret. Jesus Christ. We don't know yet. Yes. When? I don't know. I'm gonna bite you. I want to. We don't know yet. Can I be in it? You didn't. Don't say anything yet. I won't. I won't say anything. Yes, else. you totally can. Oh, I will not. I won't say anything at all. <laughs> Please let me be in it. I'm I will. Real, it's my number one subject. Yeah, mine too. Okay. What is your number one subject? Dicks. Uh, oh, mine too. Oh my God, us three, <laughs> a three way. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh hey, my God. God. Alex, Alex, so Alex, much Alex, much Alex, much Alex, so Alex, Alex, so Alex. Do you want to end this fucking podcast or feed in the most epic way you can? Uh, what does that entail? You want to do an Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, who are we, Eiffel Tower? It's a fucking <laughs> two piece. <laughs> because oh God, stick because your tongue out, Tyler. Moran, I'm not sticking my tongue out, but I will That's stick right. this mic in Rollo's ass. Hold on. Let's, let's end oh, this. Oh, my ass is asleep. Okay. And let's end this in an Eiffel Tower. And you put that microphone wherever you need to. You right, and me. Baby. You ready? <laughs> let's do it together. Let's touch our mics. Oh. All right. Let's touch our tips. So and beautiful. That's oh, Eiffel oh, Tower. Yeah. That <laughs> shit. Oh God! Thanks Woo! for breaking. Oh, no. All right. Happening. Thanks Whoa. for tuning in to Podcastrophy. Yeah. Roll it. We still have a couple more things to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tyler. For a little bit longer, please check us out on the Journey into Comics Network. We are still Always. part of the network. Check out Journey into Comics. There are so many shows. You can check us out on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, Google Play Music. Biceps. Biceps. You can also check us out live every Tuesday right around 5.30 or 6 on Facebook. And you can check me out on at Bumble. the vault. <laughs> <laughs> or on Bumble. Or on Bully a Fish. Or any of those. Or Bumble. You better have something good to say. Oh Don't waste God, my fucking time with your hands. I'm going to put my hand in your ass and jack you myself me, off. I elbowed you to death. Am I close? Don't threaten me with a good time. I will never threaten you with a good time. <laughs> but hey, you know if that you Mr. Krabs if, meme where if he's you like, want to listen to Panic at the Disco and get weird, call me. Tyler, do you got anything you want to end this with? <laughs> I just I want to thank everybody that sits in this room every week, and that obviously includes everybody that's here right now. For putting putting up with my strong-willed opinions, your loud you're voice, asshole, Tyler. my loud voice, because uh, you think you're better than everyone. I, it is no, true. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. Now the episode's going longer because Rollo no, just said I think I'm better than everyone. You, you are. I do not think I'm better than anyone. No, you anyone. just said just earlier that you you don't you feel the opposite of that way. Thank you. So right, let's let's get a high five there. I do not take my Eiffel Tower, you goddamn son of a bitch. I took your fucking Eiffel Tower, you piece of shit. You drank hams walking into the sanctum of dicks. Because I was dishonored this sacred house. I I came in. in I came in as Roll of the Destroyer. Like a a white trash piece of shit. Hams is welcome in this. My fucking Roll of the Destroyer. You know what these call me? You know what these call me? These call me. This is my sanctum. The Cyrus. This is is Joe's. I came in like a wrecking ball. It's Joe's. This is the, hall of this is the sanctum dick. of dicks, not the sanctum of dick. Whatever. If you would like it to be Proceed the sanctum the of dick, I will gladly Speaking of, <coughs> collect my out. equipment and depart. Good night, Good Good sir. Good night. Finish what you were saying, pal. Uh, but I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in to us <laughs> every week. Nice. Watch our live streams, put up with our uh, belligerence and fucking debauchery. Uh, because we're we're a gaggle of Family. fucking dumb. I'm not dumb. You made me dumb. I'm not dumb. You don't know how I feel about you. <gasps> but I'm kidding. Don't get offended. It's fucking 2018. Be that one person that doesn't get offended. I'm for really the love fucking of God. dumb. Like, 
a lot of the time, so. But, <laughs> obviously, always thanks to fucking Mr. Olovich, Richard, Rolo the Destroyer. Love you guys. For always being a great Go buy guest. the t-shirt. I love you guys Thank so you, much. Thank you, Alex, I can't, for I being can't say a how much great first-time guest and for putting up with me. Alex, I cannot and say how much. halfway thanks to Miranda. Halfway. I'm coming I'm for me. Kidding. Thanks Blame. to Miranda for, number one, taking care of my sub- my second in command, You're dumb. my bitch, you? Mr. Blaine Tyner How the himself. Fuck do you give him some Alex, I want to say this. I just established Blaine dominance. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. I'm just kidding. <coughs> Blaine, the best co-host, or er, yeah, the best co-host slash full-time host that I could ever ask for. Uh, he does all the stuff, and I just show up and act dumb. I just want so to say that's true. how we he do takes this. Takes a lot of time into this. I want to say thank you so much. Blaine told me that you would be my counterpart, and you have been nemesis. 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 You and I have finished each other's sentences from the beginning. We got some yin and yang <laughs> I action. I loved it. I had so much fun with you. Like I thought I, when he said Alex, I was like, all right. So who's this guy? I I, 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 I made it very. Like, this guy? I was very <laughs> sure to keep it. And I walked in. I was like, wait a minute. Alex is a woman. And she's about to be my counterpart. I want you I to know. I love what's going. Whoa! If, if when you he's were in the glory hole tonight, he's going to be making you face. I mean, who <laughs> isn't, honestly? Oh my god! <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone that has seen you tonight, we're all going to think your face. So go to a glory hole. Go to your fucking local Instagram. Look up Rolo the Destroyer. Look glory up fucking hole. podcast yeah, review. Look up what is it? McFinnigan McNasty. Finnegan McNasty. Finnegan McNasty girl. I want food. <laughs> I'm hungry. All right. Hungry Look it up. Well. Have fun. We've enjoyed you. Thank you so much for letting you guys be on the show again. Of course, I appreciate dude. it. Yeah, and thanks for so having us. You are a fun. staple of this show. Bro. And I love it. I love it so much. I had to Buy the shirt. Buy the shirt. Show me that you got the love. Uh, all the Japanese girls, if you have this, please send me your weird-ass phone numbers. I won't call you, but if I ever get over there through Subaru, re- I will diddle you. He I really promise. wants pictures of octopus in your vagina. Oh, so. fuck. I would love that. <laughs> I would love some Blaine. weird anime porn Dick. shit. Fucking having me. Oh, oh, my God. There's a category of that. <laughs> Tentacles everywhere. Just, just in this. In this before it goes on. Love and this. For the love of fucking Christ. Please check us out next week. Episode 55 on our very own network. Or not network feed. On our very own feed. I'm sorry. I'm used to saying network feed. Check us out on our own feed next week. A pod being podcast fee. Thank you guys. And please make every day. Thanks guys. A big dick. Day. Bye guys. Bye. I'm so hungry. I'm food. drunk. <laughs> yes, you are. So your your parents keeping the kids in No, nope, I have to go pick them up still. That's smart. Okay. No, that's great. That's also okay. a lie. Hey, wait, hold on. Don't stand up, you Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Oh, I bye, guys. Ow.